Please be advised that all flights have been cancelled due to weather conditions. I repeat, all flights have been cancelled due to weather conditions. Excuse me? Where can I get a cab? A cab? What cab? The road is washed away. How far is the police precinct? Depends on the road you take. It's 15 minutes as the crow flies. But there is a puddle, if you want to take the good road. I can deal with a puddle. Which way? Thanks. Andrei Kazanovsky. Here. Kodya Malysheva. Not here. Not here. Vajanikshuk. Here, I'm here. Roma Suchko. Here. Why are so many people absent? Yes, this year, it's sort of an anomaly. Who wants to show us how they solved the problem? May I? I solved it all by myself. Good for you. Go ahead. Quiet, guys. I promise I'll pay your salaries this week. We're fed up with your promises. What all guarantees that we'll ever get what we've earned? It doesn't make sense for me to get on your bad side. My salary depends on your work. Okay, fine. But if you let us down again, and we won't show up for our shift deal, Great. Okay, guys, back to work. Let's go. Victoria, I want my salary, too. Hello? Thanks for picking me up. Hi. Who are you? Guess who? I'm your new officer. Lieutenant Tereshchenko. I see, you didn't know. Is your boss here? It's Oleg Sargevich's day off. He went fishing. On a Wednesday? You really have it good here. Can you contact him? Let me try. Mm -mm. He's out of range. Is anyone here? Yes, me. Yeah. Piotr Petrik, Sergeant, I'm the duty officer. Exe. Sergeant Petrik. Where am I going to stay? Excuse me. I need to change, I don't know. Take a shower, eat something. Are they going to place me at the barracks or have they rented an apartment? We don't have barracks. Everybody here is local. I would know if they rented a place for you. I see. Can I have a cup of coffee? I don't expect you to brew it. No. We have tea. Why the hell didn't you take it out before the rain started? What the hell are you doing here? You'll see, it'll float, you'll go to jail. I would have shipped it out, the workers blocked the road, they want their salaries. So pay these activists and let them go home. How can I pay them? There is no money. Fuck. Are you nuts? Is it the online casino again? 
Dad, come on. I'm sick of it, sick of wiping your ass. I made you the CEO. I gave you cheap power. All you have to do is oversee the process I have organized. The forecast says the rains will soon stop. I'll ship it out. Keep your pants on. Leaks. Leaks everywhere, Anton. You're my son. And I love you. But you're an idiot. Dad, what the hell? Shit. So you must be Katioka's replacement. I probably am. There was this girl from the Oblast Center, a fancy one. She couldn't take it, though. Couldn't take it? She wanted to chase gangsters, but we don't have gangsters here. They are all in jail already. The best you can get here is a drunken brawl at a store. Don't worry. We'll find something to do. Right. I saw you miss Novi Plavni. Thanks for the TP shot. It was good, by the way. Thank you for keeping me company and being nice. I should go. Where are you going? To the bus stop. Pisha Sayonara, Sergeant. Have a nice life. Anton, I have no money to pay the salaries. The accounts are empty. Victoria Sarjavina. What? If it's about the cracking, it's not a good time. What if launching the new hydro machine causes it? You think you're smart. I have an important problems to solve. Here, my report. All the technical details are in it. I'm not going to answer for your mistakes. I'm sure the fissures had appeared prior to the reconstruction. Marina, what the hell are you doing? Valentina said you were inciting the teachers to switch to online teaching. No. I wasn't inciting anyone. I just offered to teach kids online. Remember, I'm not going to pay a dime for this. Besides, most of our teachers, unlike you, have families and children. Use your spare time to get a life of your own and stay out of other people's. Hello? Hello, Elvira Pavlovna. Hi. Hi, Daddy. How are you doing? I got A's in math and natural science today. Good for you. Do you have after-school clubs today? Yes, and I'm going to be late. Go ahead, then run. Bye, Dad. Bye, come on. Hi. Hi. Genity, you haven't come to see me in a while. We need to discuss raising funds for the school renovations. Raising funds? Yes. I promise I'll drop by one of these days. Looking forward to it. Listen, our hunting lodge is flooded. Why don't we meet at your place tonight? Jenna, you know, we shouldn't have started anything before you get a divorce. We should have gotten it long ago. It's just that the court building was flooded, the hearing rescheduled, so... What are you doing? Let's meet tonight. I missed you so much, please. Jenna? I can't.
Jenna. Yes? Okay, come. Just make sure nobody sees you, okay? What's wrong with you? Bring the mayor to account. Bring the mayor to account. Bring the mayor to account. When are you coming to us? I know you have it worse there. Hello? Kolya? The residents of the flooded houses are having a protest meeting. Are you going to do something about it? I'm doing everything I can. I called the emergency service. They are blast all in vain. Kolya, you should act, not make calls. Act fast before you've lost your chair. That's not why I get it for you. So start with providing accommodations for the flood victims. Accommodations where? Place them at the hotel. It's private property. Kolya, are you a mayor or what? Use your power. Don't sit here like an office rat. Come out and talk to people. Tell them it's not the city council that is responsible, but Victoria and her Hydra solutions. Yes, Arkady Semyonovic will do. Good for you. I'm sick of this Victoria. She never listens to anyone. She's always right. She's a bitch. Quit and let her deal with it. Yes, sure, quit. It's easy for you to say. With your mayor husband, you can stay at home for the rest of your life. I'm the earner in my family. Jenna doesn't do shit. God knows where he spends all days. Tea, coffee? Tea. He has his phone screen locked. Is he having an affair? Chris, come on. He loves you. Maybe he's looking for a job and doesn't want you to know yet. Yes, sure, with all the vacancies in the city. Hi. The usual? Yeah, I thought you had left. I wish... The roads are washed out, the buses are cancelled, the cabs won't take me. My only chance is to try and hitchhike tomorrow morning. Pisha. Can I crush at your place? No, Elksy. Sorry, can't do. I'm staying with my relatives. Okay. I'll have to stay here then. We close at midnight. Pisha. Are there any empty lockup cells? Come on. Okay. Forget lockup cells. I have an idea. Let's go. Let's. Listen. Yeah, you picked the wrong time to come here. Actually, it's a beautiful place. You'll see when the rain stops. P 
people come here from the capital on vacations. Vacations? You must mean exile. I see. So you were exiled here. It was my decision. I see. Oleg, we'll do some awareness building and some dressing down, yes. Aoxi, what the hell? Why did you have to get involved? Mikhail, I couldn't just sit and watch them taking over my father's garages. I've barely copped you out. Thank you. Okay, you are going to the country. Stay there a while. Prove yourself, and then we'll talk about your coming back. Prove myself. Am I a theorem? Where to? Novi Plavni. Yeah, sure, hi. Marina? Hi. Meet your new tenant. Hi. I don't take tenants anymore. Well, great. Aoxi, wait. Marina, could you please make an exception? Alexei is our new officer. He is from the capital, and he's got nowhere to stay. Pisha? Believe me, I hate it too. It's just for one night. Do you expect someone? No. What's the problem, then? Okay, come in. Great, bye. Elksi, see you tomorrow. Thanks. You know, I am really sorry. I, I know my timing is horrible. I'm sorry for disrupting your date. A date? No, not at all. There is no date. My girlfriend was supposed to stop by. For a candlelit dinner? Why not? Can't we have dinner in a beautiful setting? Of course you can. It's just a bit unusual. Are you going to have a look at the room? Yes, sure. This is where you're going to live. Well, it isn't a suite, but... I'm not trying to force it on you. If you don't like it, keep looking. Who said I didn't like it? If I can take a hot shower, I'll call it the house of my dream. You can. Just make sure you turn off the tap. It's leaking. Okay. Is your girlfriend pretty? The bathroom is this way. Baby, is it still on? I'm almost there. Open the door. Jenna, I'm sorry. I can't today. Why? My girlfriends showed up uninvited. I'm afraid they won't leave anytime soon. Well, too bad. I was looking forward to it. Jenna, I know. I'm sorry. I had no choice. Okay, see you tomorrow, then. Yes, sure, all right. See you tomorrow. Has your dinner been cancelled? Yes. My girlfriend's plans have changed. Why don't you let me have dinner with you, then? If you're hungry, go get some groceries and cook for yourself. 
Okay, give me the number. I'll order some sushi or pizza. I don't know any numbers. You know what? Why don't I pay you for the dinner? Sorry, I'm starving. Okay, eat. I'd have to throw it away anyway. Thanks. Will you join me? I'm not hungry. You were expecting your lover, and you lie because he's married, right? What do you want from me? I don't have a lover. It's just that a lonely lady. Delicious, with a place of her own in a small town. Is the demography that unfavorable? You know what? Finish your meal and go to your room before I kicked you out. And don't hang around the house wrapped in a towel. Excuse me, mademoiselle. I'll try to get a tuxedo for our next meal. Very funny. Why did you buy this cheap booze? That's what I could afford. You don't give me a lot of money. It's never enough no matter how much I give you, Jenna. I'm not a Rockefeller. I'm an engineer and I'm working my ass off. Okay, just make sure the kid hears you. Say it, I'm a freeloader, right? What about you? Do you do anything around the house? When was the last time you picked up Roma at school? Jenna? Mom, I almost forgot. I drew a picture for you. Well, of course not. Masha, Marina, Marina Petrovna. What's your WiFi password? What WiFi? Of course, you don't have WiFi in this neck of the woods. Of course, we Aboriginal people don't have it. Tell me, what do you do on rainy afternoons? I read books. Books? Here. Roma, this looks great. Thank you. Yes, a veritable Picasso. Good job. Have you finished? Yes. Start your homework. I'll be right with you. Okay. Do you remember back when I used to provide for the family? Of course you don't. You've forgotten when Jenna took you on vacations, bought you expensive clothes. Jenna, with you, it's always someone else's fault. The authorities, the hydra solutions, the rain. If you have no money, go make some. If you can't, don't spend what you haven't earned. Don't you appreciate what I'm doing for this family? Don't you appreciate? Do you enjoy humiliating and reproaching me all the time? Jenna, I appreciate you. 
I do. It's just that you've changed a lot lately. You know, you're like a stranger. I don't know what's going on with you. I'm fine, I am. Yes, you're being paranoid. Your job is turning you into a nervous wreck. By the way, the wine is fine, more than fine. Abnormal rains are promised. Forecasters report that the annual norm of precipitation has fallen during this time. Elksy, have you no shame? I have to start early tomorrow, and your TV won't let me sleep. The bosses. Give way, the car is coming. Well, easy, it's coming. What's going on, guys? Are you going to work? Half the town is out of job because of you. The factory is shut down. No power, no money. What shall we do about it? Listen, I know how you feel. Believe me, there are objective reasons for the renovations to take this long. We're doing everything we can. Listen, tell it to your slaves. Don't try to sweet talk us. If the factory doesn't open, we'll destroy your Hydra solutions. Do you feel me? Leave Victoria alone. Do you feel me? Go get to work. Victoria, go, go home split up she should be in jail let me go where are you going i say split up where are you going i say split up marina Why didn't you wake me up? Firstly, you didn't ask me to. Maybe. Secondly, you have an alarm on your phone. Did you know that? It didn't go off. Do you need a master class on how to turn it on? No, thanks. What am I supposed to do now? Why don't you go to work for a change? Maybe I will. Why don't you give me breakfast? Not before you put your tux on. Roma, hurry up, take off your coat, come on. Good boy, yes, excuse us, please. Hello? Come on, run along, go. By daddy, we've overslept. You too? Shall I see you tonight? I hope your friends aren't coming. Jenna. It's not about my girlfriends. I have a tenant. He works at the police, and he had no place to go, so I took him in. I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Wait a minute. Did you lie to me? And you are still married. Wait. We have separate bedrooms. And we're getting a divorce. You have no reason to be jealous, do you hear? No reason. Neither do you. 
AOXY, I'm sorry about that, your Mikhail should have let me know you were coming, I'd have welcomed you myself. It's okay, that's just who he is. I thought I shouldn't have come here. Come on, we are in desperate need of smart officers. We Pisha will show you the ropes. Go. Got it. Yes, Victoria. I demand that my issue was taken care of. Hello. What do you want from me? No crime has been committed. You weren't beaten or mugged. A bunch of people yelling in front of your gate. So what? So nothing. Come back when something serious happens. You mean when they stone me instead of my car? Where would they find any stones in this mud? Thank you, now I feel much better. Aoxi, are you staying? Maybe. Pisha. Do we have any vehicles at our disposal? Yes. Good. It's a non-runner, though. Let me take a look. Do you know anything about cars? I grew up in a garage. My father owned it. We're both car enthusiasts. This is our horse. Look at these eyes. Okay. Let's take a look at her teeth. Bye. 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 Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Elvira, I told you this room was occupied. Goodbye, Marina Petrovna. Bye. Oh, you can't talk. I thought your classes were over. Listen, come to my place. Roma will be at his club till nine. Why don't we hang out and talk, please? Are you crazy? We can't do that. Besides, what will the principal says when he comes to your office? You mean Christina? She'll be at work till late. Well, you know, I really did tell her everything. And what did she say? Nothing. She's looking forward to the divorce, just like I do. Everything is playing into our hands, come. Aoxi, will it live? It will. I think it'll last longer than us. Yes, Auntie Zena. Really? Okay, I'll stop by tonight. You mean now? Okay, I'm coming. Listen, can you finish it up on your own? I need to go to my aunt. Someone is trying to break into her attic. I have another proposal. You clean the plugs. And I'll go deal with the people. Okay, it's 8 Pryregnea Street. Whose is this? The precincts. Very good. Yes. No. I don't have the money right now. Don't try to threaten me. If they don't want to wait, let them go. What? 
My notice. I've checked. The cracks at the machine room are fresh. I warned you I wasn't going to answer for your violations. Is this an ultimatum? Goodbye. Good luck with finding a job at your Plavni. To hell with your Plavni, and to hell with you. I'm sorry, Luda. What happened? That's it. Why are you still here? Do you like this town so much? Yes, it's a beautiful place. That's true. Well, Elxine, they are there walking around. Are you sure? Okay, let's do it. So? Just be careful. Okay. Guys, we're the police. Don't do anything funny. I'm opening the door. Jenna, I can't do that. You can't do what? She's watching what? I can't do that. Let's get out of here. There is no serious damage. Good. But we still need an X-rays. Elksy. Tereshchenko. Tereshchenko. Where do you work? Police lieutenant. How romantic. Did it happen during a dangerous mission? You might say so, a beast of an offender. Excuse me. Please deal with it. Elksi. I've just came home and... Take Padia and come to the outskirts. Two bums were carrying my TV set. We have a marauders gang here. I've just been there. Sinada thought someone was stealing brims from her attic. Pisha sent me to check. I fell from the ladder, hope my back. And now I am in the hospital. Quiet, what? I said I'm in the hospital. I hurt my back. Where? I said quiet. I can't hear myself. Where are you? In the hospital, hurt my back trying to get the brims. Breams? What breams? What breams? Listen, can you come? If the doctor says I can. We need to find them. Besides, they might come back tonight. We'll take care of it. Maybe we're not the only ones robbed. We'll find them. Like you always do. Do you need a sick leave? No, thanks. Thank you. The ointment. What? This one. Got it. A referral for x-rays. Thanks. My number. Call me if you need anything. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lieutenant Tereshchenko. Christina, why aren't you at work? I quit, Jenna. Hello. Hi. I didn't know you were doing the chores. How long have you been doing it? Nothing happened. 
It's not what you think it is. Okay, go on. I won't stop you. Don't be here when I come back in the morning. Wait, Christina, you got it all wrong. What do you mean, don't be here, Christina? I'm going to Diana. Wait, come on, we were just having tea and talking. Nothing had happened. See how well everything is playing out? Now I can move in with you. What are you talking about? Nothing happened between us. Wait, you got it all wrong. I just didn't want to hurt her more than I had to, that's all. You lied to me. I didn't know, I just didn't have a chance to tell her. If I knew that's what was going to happen, I'd never... Wait. Where are you going? I love you. Take care of your wife first. Then tell me you love me. My name is Sergei. Sita. Exi. Nice to meet you. Me, too. What are you drinking? What am I drinking? Sex on the beach. Say it again. Sex on the beach. Make it again. Let's go to my place. To the beach? You're funny. She's with me, got it? Borea. Guys, Borea, let's get out of here. Calm down, break up. Thank you, Sergey. We'll sort it out. You welcome. Look at you, Tereschenko, that's just great. Come on, smile. Let's take a selfie. Come on. I'll send it to Mikhail, let him admire his protege, you. When you sleep it off, turn in your resignation. Help me get out of here, Captain. What? Tereschenko, use your bootstraps. What happened? Something happened. Are you going to watch or are you going to help? Please, Marina. How are you doing? Stop. Go straight ahead. 
Monastery Plavni is over there. My brother will meet you there. Got it. You'll leave the boat with him. Yes, sir. Well, Makrovic. Yes? Here? It's too much. It's exactly tight. Thanks. Good luck. Okay. The current is rather fast there. Be careful or you'll die. I'll deal with it. The police department, Sergeant Petrik. Petrik, this is Tereshchenko. Lesha, Sergei just told me that you were fired. It doesn't matter now. You assemble the task force. There's a dead body on the beach. Lyosha, what are you talking about? What dead body? Stop kidding around. Petya, I'm serious. A 35 to 40 year old woman, taller than average. What a mess. Lyosha, where are you now? I don't know. How can I explain it to you? Out of town, moving downstream. There are trees and bushes. I took the boat on the beach with umbrellas from Grandpa Makari. How long were you moving through the water? About 15 to 20 minutes. I see, Lyosha, you wait there. And I'll organize everything here, got it. I'm waiting. Andre, run to school. There's a bun in your backpack. Hello? Diana? Get Christina, please. What makes you think she's with me? Isn't she? No, did something happen? No, nothing happened. Do you happen to know where she might be? No, I don't. I see. Aren't we going to school? Of course we are. Christina. I knew it was her. Why? I don't know. Guys, we gotta get her out of here somehow. How's that? What about forensics and medical examiners? Lesha, we're forensics and medical examiners ourselves. What do you want to find here? It's a murder. What murder? They found her car upstream half an hour ago. She was probably driving over a bridge that collapsed at the time. So much for the fatal accident. Why isn't the body in the car? I don't know. She wasn't wearing her seatbelt. It's common. Come on, hurry up. Where's mom? She'll be here, don't worry. Marina Petrovna, hello. Sorry we're late. Come in. Bye-bye. Jenna. Jenna. What? 
Kristina's car was found in the river. They found it in the water last night after the bridge collapsed. Good morning, Victoria Sergeyevna. Good morning. Have you heard the news? There's been a disaster. About the bridge, yes, I heard. And about Kristina Sashko. What about her? She died. Poor thing, she fell off a bridge in the river with her car. They only found her body this morning. Such a horrible death. I don't get it. Why are there strangers here? Oleg Sargevich? Well, actually it was Alexei who found it washed ashore. I think it's murder. We should open a case. So let's open a case on you. Have you lost your memory? Or are you hearing impaired? I fired you. What don't you understand? Oleg Sergeyevich, it's my fault. I apologize. I was wrong. I realized everything. It will not happen again. Of course it won't happen again. Did you think you were allowed everything in life? Or do I need to remind you of the bylaws? Get out of here. You're a... Take him out. Petya, get Jenna. Yeah. Jenna, I'll wait over there. I just got a call from Jenity, Romasashko's father. Why? There's grief in their family. Roma's mother is dead. How? I don't know the details. Jenity Ivanovich is in the morgue now to identify his wife. He asked that the child be taken home. He has the keys in his backpack. Make up a reason and take him home. And I'll get you a replacement. Valentina. By the way, Jenady Ivanovich would appreciate it if you could gently explain to the boy what happened. He doesn't know how to say it himself. Will you find the right words? Yes, I am. Ah, uh, yes. I'll try. Okay. Lesha, I made a deal with my classmate. He has a jeep. He'll take you. You'll get there somehow. Petya, I'm not going anywhere. It's murder. 
and I want to get to the bottom of it. Lyosha, are you crazy? You've been fired. I understand that Sushko's call, right? Yes. What are you looking for, anyway? What's the height of the bridge? I don't know, about 10 feet. Let's go to the bridge and see. Lyosha, Sargavik won't approve of this. We'll just take a look. Lyosha, you're almost gone, and I'll get in trouble, Lyosha. Hello. Hello. Come on. Roma, what's such a grief? Why did the Lord take your mom so early? Don't. Let's go. Where did he take her? Roma, let's go. Doesn't he know Christina's gone? Shut up. Roma, let's go. What happened to mom? What happened to mom? What's wrong with mom? Roma, you know, mom, she's... Mom. Comrade Captain, permission to speak. What do you want? I've inspected the car. And what I saw, if the car had driven off the destroyed bridge, there would have been traces on the bottom of the car, characteristic stripes from the destroyed pavement. There are no such marks. If the bridge started to collapse when the car was on it, the car would have been destroyed by the debris, which isn't there either. She was just pushed off the high bank into the water. A quick staging job. It's a 100% homicide. Have you ever investigated a homicide in your department? No. Did you do any forensic work on car accidents? No, but I know cars. Aha, uh -huh, right. You want to be smart. Play detective. And people are just bugs. He's sure we all live here and we all know each other. You know how a kid feels when he loses his mom. How does a husband feel when he loses the wife he's lived with all his life? And you want to investigate, don't you? Oleg Sargevic, are you drunk or what? Why not investigate? So as not to traumatize the psyche of family and friends. Why do you think it's necessary to investigate? What makes you think it shouldn't? Because it's not a murder. There's a witness. who saw Christina's car drive onto the bridge before the crash at a high rate of speed. That's probably why there's no damage to the underside. All right. Who's the witness? What difference does it make? Let's say Fyodor Denisenko. He lives nearby. He went out for a smoke because he couldn't sleep. And he recognized the car in the dark from a distance. He did. How? The headlights. Christina's headlights are special. There's no other headlights like them in the city. Any other questions? Permission to go. Permission granted. Marina? Marina. She... he's sleeping. How's he doing? He cried a lot. 
I even called the doctor. He prescribed medication. They're on the table here. If he can't sleep at night, you'll have to take them. Thank you very much. Marina. Stay, I'm asking you very much. Jenna, go to your son. He needs someone to be with. I'll go. Senya, I'm sorry. The man's packing, what can I do? Yeah, we're on our way, we'll be at your place soon. Lyosha, what took you so long? The man is waiting, he has to go. Let's go quickly. Say, Petya, do you know a certain Fedor Denizinko? Sure, he's a shady guy, what do you need him for? Isn't he a big, bully guy with russet hair? He's got a mole here. No. I see. The one with the mole must be Borya. And Petya. He's my height, black hair with a beard. Let's go talk to him. Lesha, Lesha, Lesha. Why? Allegedly, he witnessed Sashko falling off the bridge. How do you know? No, Lesha, I'm not going. First of all, I don't want to. And secondly, I... You're afraid? Sergei will fire me for this amateurishness. Do you know his address? I won't tell anyone. Lakeside Lane 8. You got the balls? Hello? Senya, here's the deal. We have to wait another half an hour. A uh, maybe an hour. Yes? Victoria Sergeyevna. What? May we come in? We decided to raise money for Kristina's family. Yes. Such a tragedy. The company will take care of the funeral arrangements. I was just on my way to see Christina's husband. Then please give our condolences and an envelope of money. Uh, sure. What? Nothing. Hello. What do you want? I need Fyodor Denisenko. I'm with the police. I need to ask him a couple questions. I know what kind of police you are. Asshole, get out of here and tell your friends not to come here. I ain't paying his debts. Hold on. Wait, here. Hmm? Where's Fedya? I don't know. He went for a walk with the dog last night and never came back. He's out with his friends somewhere. Last night? And you haven't heard from him or called him since? No. 
Where can we find his friends? I don't know and I don't want to know. Lyosha, I congratulate you. Sanya won't take you anywhere. You'll get there on your own. Did you find out anything? I found out. He's not at the house. He's not at the ball. Fate is missing. Where else could he be? Anywhere, listen. Lyosha, don't do anything wrong. You're wasting your time. Bon appetite. Thank you. Tell me, why did Soshka go to the other side of the river? Does she have any friends or relatives there? Maybe a lover. What lover? Christina has a husband, Jenna, she has a child. That's what we're talking about. Why wasn't she home at night with her husband and kid? What are you asking me? Ask Jenna. Petya. That's a very good question. You're thinking like a real investigator. We should go and ask. Does Sergei know about it? He'll make you a sergeant until you retire. You got the balls, let's stop by Marina's. She called me and I didn't hear. If I had called back, she would have come over and nothing would have happened. Oh, come on, this has nothing to do with you. I told her the same thing. We're gonna help Kristina's family. We'll take care of the funeral arrangements. And we'll make arrangements for her boy's allowance. Let's go. Arkady. Isn't that a little much? A state-funded funeral and an allowance for the boys. They'll stop gossiping that I'm using my official position. Everyone knows Diana and Christina were friends. That's not what you're worried about. It's worse if they start talking about the bridge you repaired two years ago. Let's go before Jenna makes a fuss. Marina. I excuse me. You have an open door. Do you mind if I live with you for a while? Marina. Marina, is something wrong? Didn't you know that a bridge collapsed and a car fell into the river? I heard. Was the deceased a friend of yours? Her son is in my class. I see. And you knew the victim's family well? Why? Don't you think it's strange that she was driving around town alone in the rain at night? A married woman in a small town it's not like she was a street racer. Do you have any idea why she might not be home at night? What difference does it make? You can't get her back. There is a difference. 
After all, I'm not here to gather gossip, but facts to investigate a crime. A crime? What crime? I don't think it was an accident. Can I live with you? Hello, Genity. Hello. I'm sorry. I don't know your middle name. I and our company are sorry for your loss. There's a fundraiser here. Christina was an indispensable employee. I realize this won't bring back your wife and your child's mother, but we want to take care of all funeral expenses. Thank you. Jenna, we're very sorry for your loss. What are you doing here? I've come to decide about the funeral. We're taking care of everything. Why go to all this trouble, Victoria? Playing the humanity card. Jenna, the city will take care of everything. The funeral and the care of your family. I'm playing humanity. Let's remember who in the city is responsible for all communications. If you hadn't skimped on the bridge repairs, Christina wouldn't be dead. Excuse me, please. No one saved money on the bridge. If your construction equipment hadn't fallen apart, the bridge would still be standing a hundred years from now. Our equipment only drove over your bridge a couple times and let's not blame the innocent. You're hysterical, Daddy. Why is everyone yelling? Well, Lyosha, just go easy on him. Jenna is in grief. I'm delicate. A couple of questions and that's all. Whoa. You were clearly told you have nothing to do here. They told you not me. Have a conscience. You're turning a funeral into a PR campaign. Who is this? That black-haired mayor, Nicholas Kozanowski. It's too late for you to take care of your people. Who's the young lady? That's Victoria Anaprianko, head of Hydro Solutions. She's the reason our hydroelectric plant isn't working. You should get out of here, Victoria, and don't go back to Gunna's place. Bastard. That powerful old man reminds me of someone. That's Arkady Semyonovic, director of the hydroelectric power plant. Petya, you go and try to find Feda, and I'll have a word with this Victoria. Lyosha. That's it. Victoria, wait. What do you want? To talk. Business. Who are you? Not a local. I haven't seen you before. I apologize for not introducing myself. I recently transferred here. I'm Lieutenant Tereshchenko. What did those two want from you? I'm in a hurry. I need to get to the hydroelectric power station, Jizz. Great. We can talk on the way. There were so many problems at the Jizz that a regular repair turned into a reconstruction. I hope that involving local specialists in the team would change the skeptical perception of us. I was wrong. And did Christina have any problems because of this? Not at work. But possibly at home. You see, when a woman works and her husband just sits on her shoulders, especially after such an incident, crossing the whole city at night, it's all quite clear. Do you know where she was going then? No.
Yes, Oleg Sargevich, where are you wandering? I took this Alexei to the region. Finally, that idiot has left. Oleg Sargevich, I don't know when I'll arrive. The roads here are bad. All right, take a rest today. Got it. And tomorrow, you'll be on duty. Copy. Are you stupid? Give it back. You shouldn't have lied to him. What do you mean? How else can I explain my whole day missing at work? And how are you going to explain it to him tomorrow? I won't. You'll figure everything out and leave by tomorrow. That's unlikely. What do you mean? What's up with Fyodor? Nothing. He's nowhere to be found. Leshka, how long do you plan to stay here? Until I solve the case. But you were fired. Yeah. Marina, can you take care of Roma? I don't want to take him to the cemetery. Sure. How is he doing? Not well. I'm not doing well, and he's not doing well. Marina, we need you. Jenna, stop it. We can't. We can start fresh. We're not to blame for anything, Marina. How can you say that, Jenna? It's all because of us, don't you understand? If not for our deceit, she would still be alive. What are you talking about, Marina? It was an accident. An accident. Leshka doesn't think so. And what does he think, Leshka? You're... Jenna. Christina might have taken her life because of us. Because of me. No. No, this is some kind of nonsense. Marina. Please, just go. Let me come in. Please, just go. Marina, good thing I cut you. I forgot my keys. Who's that gloomy man? What? Isn't that your boyfriend you were waiting for when I checked in? What makes you think that? Well, he just looked at me like I was his biggest enemy. It's Jenity. Christina's dead husband. He came to ask me to babysit Roma while he's at the funeral. Oh, hold on. Tomorrow's the funeral. How tomorrow? Tereshchenko, have you lost your nerve? I've already been informed of your antics. Mikhail Yuryevich, this is the case. There is a victim, Kristina Soshko. The locals want to make it look like an accident. It's clear they want to close the case as soon as possible, but there are serious reasons to believe that this is a murder. The problem is Soshko's funeral is tomorrow, and we need an autopsy, and we can't do it without your help, because the case will hang in the balance. And after the funeral, it's going to be very problematic. Do you have any evidence? Not yet. When you do, call me.
Oh, uh, hello, I'm here. Tell me, is it normal that they don't put a dead body in the refrigerator? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna turn on the... Who's there? Alexei Tereshchenko. Police Lieutenant. Thank God it's you, Larissa. What are you doing here? I wanted to look around. A dead body? Yes. Why? I think she was murdered. But my theory doesn't sit well with the brass and I need proof. What makes you think she was murdered? I took a look at the car Christina was riding in. Man. It doesn't look like she left the bridge. So it doesn't look like an accident at all. How did you plan on doing the inspection? On the phone? To be consulted by my fellow pathologist. On the phone? Hell, yeah, by video link. That's original. Oh, listen. I'm no pathologist. But I did an autopsy in med school. In the meantime... You can put your SIM card in my phone. I need to change. Thank you. Mikhail Yurievich, please. No answer? No answer. Thank you anyway. I don't know what I'd do without you. How can I thank you? You don't have to. At least let me walk you home. If you're not afraid of getting lost. What's wrong? I forgot my keys again. My landlady doesn't like me anyway. If I wake up now, she'll kick me out. Let's go to my place. I live alone. We won't wake anyone up. I don't feel comfortable. Is it comfortable to sneak into the hospital? Got it. Follow me. Larissa, the first story I dragged you into this story. On the contrary, thank you for dragging me into it. You're eating. You know, my life is so boring. And this is such an adventure. <laughs> Maybe wine. Liquor, yes. Let's have fun. Honestly, I'm so tired. I should go to bed right now. I'm sorry. I'll make your bed in the living room. Oh, thank you.
Roma, you should eat something, you're hungry. So be it. Mom's gone and I don't need anything. Roma. Mom is with you now. She's... She's watching from the sky. Auntie Toma says so, but I don't believe it. I'll tell you a story. When I was a little girl, my mom got sick and died. But before she did, she said she would always take care of me. Then one day I was walking down the street and a pack of stray dogs came at me. They were barking and growling a lot. I was very frightened. And I remembered my mom. And then they just took off. I'm sure it was my mom who saved me. Yeah, dogs don't just run away. Did your dad die too? No, he lives in another town. He has his own family. I don't see him much. The women in the yard say that my dad will marry another woman. They'll have children and he won't need me anymore. Don't listen to them so much. You're the most important person in the world to Daddy. Why don't you eat? I tried for you. Okay. Oh, finally. Good morning. Good morning. Why are you so glum? Didn't sleep well. No, just an important person not picking up the phone. Laura, do you know when the funeral is? I don't know. But they're taking the body out of the morgue at 9 o'clock a.m. Shit, does that mean it's already been picked up? Yes. Vitya, what's up? Did you find him? Give him the phone right away, of course. Lyosha, what do you have there? Mikhail Yurievich, I found it. Found what? Evidence. Dear Jenna, dear countrymen, it's impossible to believe that our dear Christina is no longer with us. Yes, Mikhail Yurievich. She was. What? Point a loving wife. How? And there's a terrible incident. On behalf of our authorities, I'd like to offer our condolences. And personally, I want to say that Diana... Kalia, wait. What? Excuse me. Jenna. We can't bury her. Hi. Marina, you know already? No, what should I know? I just came from the cemetery. The funeral was cancelled. Cancelled how? I just can't understand. 
Are you people or are you animals? How come I can't bury her? You mean because of some idiots I can't bury the person closest to me? Do you even hear what you're saying? I mean, they have no humanity left. What did you do to help me? You didn't do shit. Jenna, what can we do? That's an order. I don't give a damn about that order. Quiet, quiet. Jenna, please. Jenna, calm down. Fuck you, bastards. Assholes. Yura, that's it. Call the region, let's open a case. Oleg Sargevic, have they buried her yet, so fast? Didn't your friend tell you? Which friend? The one you have to drive to the region, or did you think I wouldn't find out? Oleg Sargevic, I was honestly going to. You're a liar, Petya, two tours of duty in no turn. Call him, let him come and present his evidence. What evidence? He knows what evidence. No way. It's obvious there was no one to kill her, but she's back at the morgue, and we don't know how long that's gonna take. Marina, the reason why I came is Jenna asked you to take Roma home. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Didn't they bury mom? Why? Roma, I don't know. Do you want me to take you to your dad? Or stay at my place? To daddy's. No water in the lungs. So the victim was dead before she fell in the river. She also has displaced cervical vertebrae. She was probably strangled. If you don't believe me, I can repeat the autopsy in front of you. No, Lara, don't. I'm sorry, Lesha. You were right. It's okay. Yes, Mikhail Yuryevich. What's going on there? Have you sorted it out? Yes. Tereshchenko was right. It's murder. And what about his dismissal? We'll reinstate him today, and we'll include him in the investigation team. Well, that's great. That lieutenant's a jerk. He couldn't tell a cat from a thief in my attic. He's completely useless. Come on, stop bullshitting. By the way, he was on my boat when he found the body. I assure you he'll find the killer too. What killer? Who would want to kill Christina? I mean, she didn't even have a fight with anyone. Yes. I disagree. She had a fight with Victoria the other day that almost tore each other's hair out. What was that about? A bread, please. I don't know. That's what people say. I gotta go. I gotta go make my nephew's dinner. Luda, are you afraid of losing? Losing your job, who isn't afraid these days. I understand. Victoria treats you harshly. I'm not complaining. She's a normal woman. So she only had a beef with Christina. I don't know. Luda covering up for a criminal is a criminal offense. You could go to jail. Me for what? You're not talking. Tell me. And my pedia will stand up for you. What are our leads on the killer? Well, first of all, well, Lyosha, here you go. Petya, thank you. Help yourself. Thank you, Petya. Dismissed. What about the investigation?
Are you part of the investigation team? Oleg Sergeyevich. I propose to include Petya in the task force. He's a small cop. Yesterday helped us a lot. There are not enough people, but a lot of cases. We need to interview half the city. The matter is closed. I'm telling you, you can't come in here. I've got important business. They won't even let me in here. The whole town knows the murder of my employee is a good reason for you. Wait in the hallway. We're in an important meeting. I've waited long enough. You should have reacted to the bullying against me yesterday. You have a duty to provide me with security. Victoria, first of all, I don't have the resources to provide you with security. Secondly, what makes you think Christina was killed because she worked at your station? What else would it be? Or do you want two bodies? Give me the umbrella. Scandalous woman. Well, she's understandable. A coworker was murdered. She's getting threats herself. Did I say we weren't gonna do anything? Yura. Yes? Pick her up after work. Find out what's going on with her. Try to calm her down. I will. What about Christina's killer? We need to find your witness. Find him and question him. Because it's very likely that he's not only a witness, but a participant in the crime. That's why he's in hiding. Did you call him? Aha, phone's off. Oleg Sargevic, let me turn to you. You may report. I accidentally spoke to Fedina's mom. He didn't show up at home. Put out an APB. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Son, take your seat. Marina, sit down and drink to the repose of Christina's soul. Jenna? Although you'll never agree to it, you're a proud woman. Although, it's all because of you. Jenna, stop it. Why all of a sudden? Come in. If you hadn't let him live with you then, he would have gone to the capital and none of this would have happened. Jenna, shut your mouth. What's this all of a sudden? I can't bury my wife properly, like a human being. It's all because of her. Dad, stop it, Marina is not to blame. Don't you dare shut your father up, go to the room. Roma, don't worry. Dad doesn't know what he's saying right now. You shouldn't have brought him here. I didn't know this would happen. Roma, come on, let's go to our place. You'll watch a movie with Andre, you'll play. I don't want to. Roma, what's wrong? It'll be fun. Do you want to come to my place? We can do homework and draw, yes? Hmm? Yeah. 
Katia, stop typing, you're using up all the paper, the whole town knows Fedina's face. What does he do after he's done time? Nothing. He's back with his mother. He worked at the factory for two years and then quit, traveled around the region, no criminal record. Probably he's do something weird. What are you sitting around for? Go put up some posters through the pole. When you do one, I'll do the next. No, through the pole. Oleg Sergeyevich, if it's no secret, who witnessed your conversation with Fedya? A lot of witnesses. Our mayor, Nikolai Kozanovsky, director of the hydroelectric power plant, Arkady Semyonovic. There's been an emergency in town. A bridge collapsed. We all gathered at once. We had to solve the problem. Fedya drove up. Any other questions? Through one or through two? Dismissed. Yes, sir. Petya, can you give me a ride to the hospital later? I need to meet Larissa, the trauma surgeon there. With Larissa? You know what, Lyosha, you didn't hire me as a driver. Here are the keys, and drive yourself. You can take the car to the station later. I don't get it. Why so angry? It's not anger, it's justice. You're a hero now. You'll solve the crime and go to the capital to get a new Ipolitz, and I'll just keep doing petty stuff. You've been telling you were a team. What's wrong with you? We really are a team. The main thing is to catch the killer. What are you rubbing it in my face? You should go about your personal business on foot, not in a company vehicle. Give me the keys. Hit! Larissa. Thank you. You really helped me out. Get in touch. You know where to find me. I won't get cocky. You've already sheltered and fed me, and you risked it for the cause. So please accept the gratitude of the police department. It's about me. I am risky lady. Thank you. Lesha. Yes? Maybe the investigation needs some more help. With housing, for example, for you. Live as long as you want, free of charge. I'll stay with Marina. I can't stay with you because of professional ethics. It's the right thing to do. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Where's Roma? He's sleeping. Let's go wake him up. I'm taking him home. Jenna, go home. Tomorrow after school, I'll bring him to you personally. Go home now. What home? I've come for my son. Jenna, you're in no condition to talk to a child right now. Go home. I'm in a normal state. Go home. Let me through. Can you go home? That's my son, Roma. Jenna, that's enough. Go home. Go ahead. Marina, go inside. Are you fucking nuts? Stand down, Jenna, you can't do that. Focus. 
I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you, too. That's very good. Let's go have a conversation. Just don't hit him. Okay, Marina, I won't hurt him. Come on. Let's talk. I promised Marina I wouldn't lay a finger on you. Do you understand? Jenna. What? My job is to find who killed your wife. That's what you want to, right? Yes. I have some questions for you. Go ahead. Okay. Where did Christina go that night? To a friend's house. What girlfriend? A Diana. Who's she? The mayor's wife. Okay. Why at night? I don't know. Okay. Well, was she in trouble? Did she tell you anything? What kind of trouble? We were living friendly. Of course you were friendly. You didn't even ask her where she was going at night. We have a high relationship. Any questions? Not yet. No questions. Jenna? Jenna? You can't trust them, not one or the other. Got it. Stop. What other one? I'm just saying. You can't trust women in general. Come on. As always, thank you. It's delicious. You're welcome. Let's go do homework. You can't play the console right now. Got it. And you, Piotr, I'll ask you to stay. I'm tired at work. Pedia, help me. Come on. You always ask me to help you. Don't you have any other helpers? Why are you so nervous? Did something happen at work? I'm telling you I'm tired. You know what I was thinking. What if Victoria killed Christina? Elvira, I've been teaching you for ages and you still don't get it. I've always told you that every crime must have a motive. Why would she kill Christina? They had a conflict. What kind of conflict? A big one. Christina even quit her job. Quit her job how? The day before she died. And there's evidence. What evidence? <sighs> Elvira. Elvira? Good for you. It's a statement from Christina that Victoria tried to destroy. You're mine now, Petha. How are the lessons going? Why are you looking at me like that? Tell me. Just be honest. Do you and Jenna know each other well? Why? Did he say something to you? Seems like he was having problems with his wife. 
And not just her. Who else? That's what I wanted to ask you. Is he having an affair? How would I know? It's odd that he would bring his only son to a woman he doesn't know. Why are you picking on me? I just have a very good relationship with Roma. That's the reason. Good night. I'm sorry. Good night. Hi, Petya, how are you doing? Is everything all right? Yeah. Got any coffee? No, Oleg Sargavik, only tea. All right. Oleg Sargavik, may I ask you a question? Go ahead. I realize that I'm not part of the investigation team, but... I have information from a reliable source that Victoria had a conflict with Christina right before her death. I thought I'd check it out. A reliable source is Elvira. Yes. Hold on, the point is, she found a material witness and discovered a valuable piece of evidence here. A letter of resignation. Well done, Petya. I commend you. Victoria. Hello, this is Oleg Sargevich. Hi. Hello. Are you Roma? Hello. Exi. Is it because of you that mom wasn't buried? Turns out I am. Do you really think mom was murdered? Actually, Roma, it's a mystery of the investigation, and I can't tell you anything. I'm sorry. You got with meat? Yes. What's this with? Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese? Does Marina make it herself? Yes. Do you like Marina as a teacher? Yeah, she's cool, never yells at us. You're lucky. Even when we're running around. But Elvira Pavlovna is mean. Elvira is a teacher. No. Principal, and Marina Petrovna is our class teacher, and everyone loves her. I understand. And when I was sick, she came to visit us and help with lessons. She came directly? It's a mystery of the investigation. Alexei, can I talk to you for a minute? We're tight on the number of investigative secrets. Do you have no conscience at all? Why interrogate a child? We're just talking. Of course we are, Roma. Finish your food. 20 minutes till the bell rings. Can I not go to school today? I want to go home to my dad. Of course you can. Let me take Roma. No need. Thanks. It's tasty.
Victoria, what was your relationship with Kristina Sashko like? It was great. Why? Your co-workers don't think so. Employees tend to talk about their bosses and make up gossip. I valued Christina as a professional and I liked her as a person. I told your Alexei all that. He came to see you. You didn't know. That's interesting. Looks like I'm not the only one with employee problems. We're still alive. You say you had no conflicts with Christina. I didn't. Then... Uh, how do you explain this? The resignation letter, it was a misunderstanding. Christina came to me, asking for the day off for some bullshit. I had a terrible day because of your countrymen. They're getting on my nerves. I yelled at her. She took offense and filed a report. We talked and made up afterwards. Reconciled, but you signed the statement. I signed it in the heat of the moment, then I changed my mind and put it in the shredder. Where were you the night Christina was killed? A home. Alone? I didn't kill Christina. Petya, I need your help. I have a theory, but Sajic won't like it. Actually, Sajic is working on my theory right now. You have a theory? Sergei didn't immediately tell you to fuck off with her. I told you I'm on an important case at the hydroelectric plant to interrogate Victoria, I found out that Victoria and Christina had a conflict. Let's say, by your logic, everyone here is an angel, and the murder is the work of outsiders. You're saying because she's from the capital, she's not a suspect. Yes. But statistically, it's most often the victim's family or close acquaintances who do the killing. Lesha Victoria is an acquaintance. Also true. What's your theory? Maybe Soshko's husband has a mistress and wanted to get rid of his wife. No way. No. Bullshit. Look, if Jenna had a mistress, the whole town would know about it. Besides, why kill his wife when you can just get a divorce? I mean, maybe he didn't want to split the assets, or maybe the mistress wanted to get rid of his wife. Either way, it's a delicate matter. They wouldn't talk to me. But if you, with your diplomacy, had been careful to find out. What's the problem? Let me find out. I'll do it. If I have some free time. Sure. Roma, why are you making so much noise? I'm sorry, Dad. It's just that Mom doesn't like. She didn't like the house to be messy. I'll come to my senses and help you clean up. 
Are you gonna drink all the time now? How are we going to live without mom? Sit down, Roma. How will we live? We'll live hard. Like real men. But beautiful. They've brought in fresh pork. Will you take it to your lodger? Young and handsome. No, I won't. Is he merry? Toma, I don't have time for that. There's a lot going on in town. Don't tell me. I feel sorry for Christina. I think Anna killed her. What makes you think that? Who did? He came to get wine the night before she died. Obviously not for his wife. He was definitely going to his mistress. Don't make this up, Tanya. I'm not making it up. Apparently, Christina wouldn't give him a divorce. So he killed her. Bye. Hi. Hello. Antonina, this is for you. I don't have time for you right now. You doing okay? Yes, that's good. So, Yes, Marina, it's good to hear from you. Jenna, hi, we need to meet. I'm ready right now. No better tonight, somewhere out of town. No one should see us. Let's do it around 9 o'clock p.m. by the river at our place. See you then. Great. So, did Victoria get arrested? Elvira? What does Victoria have to do with it? She's not involved at all. Why are you eating cold food? It needs to be warmed up. Elvira, you seem to know everything about everyone. Tell me, could Jenna and Victoria have had a romance? Who? Jenna is definitely an attractive man. But Marina is not on his level. Easier girls fall for him. So did he have a lover after all? Who? Elvira? Hiding important information from the authorities can lead to a sentence of three to five years. Do you want to be sent to prison? Who? Jenna? Marina? Please forgive me for yesterday. Jenna, have you told anyone about us? Marina, what do you mean? How could you even think that? I swear to you by Roma, nobody doesn't know anything. 
I'm sorry. I beg you not to tell anyone about us. Promise. I promise. Good evening. You're already home. I've been home for a while. Why do you keep lying to me, Marina? Your coat isn't even dry yet. You don't have a lover, you hardly know Udena, but you secretly meet him at night to discuss his son's progress at school. Were you following me? You're not important enough for someone to follow you. I was following someone else and was surprised to see you there. You don't seem like someone who would do such things. How long have you been in a relationship with him? A couple of months. That's what I thought. And what did you think? Tell me the truth. What did you think? That I'm a bitch and a lonely teacher who seduced her student's father. No. You don't look like a seductress. Thank you. But you also don't seem like the kind of woman who would have an affair with a married man. Christina, she. Did she catch you that day? Yes. She asked Jenna to vacate the apartment and went to her friend Diana's place. He didn't want to get divorced and he had no intention of doing so. He was afraid of losing something in the divorce, or maybe Christina was threatening him with something. I don't know, no. No. Listen, if you think Chenna is the one who did it, it's not him. He couldn't do something like that because he's too cowardly. Besides, he swore on Roma, and he loves him deeply. I'm sure it's not him. Marina. Please. I beg you not to tell anyone about what you found out. I'll survive it. But it will crush Roma. I'll try as long as it doesn't interfere with the interests of the case. Thank you. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? Work? <clears throat> Oleg Sargavik, allow me to speak. What do you want? I have an important witness. Here. Elvira, good morning. Good morning. Did something happen at school? No. I'm on the Christina Sashko case. Confidential. Come in, have a seat. Go ahead. 
I honestly didn't want to get involved. Going through other people's black underwear is beneath me. But Pedia. But Pedia said that in the interests of the investigation, as a civic minded person, I should say what I know. Today in class, we'll learn why it's important to eat more fruits and vegetables than chips and chocolate bars. Turn to page 5 and read the first paragraph. Hello, Oleg Sargevic. Marina, this is Yurkovsky. When are you free today? I have one more lesson. Why? We need to talk. Can you come to the office after class? Yes, of course. Come on, come on, faster, faster. Faster, faster. Let's get in the car. Faster. No crowding, don't panic. Is everyone in? Give me my bag. Nikolik, here. Speed up. Come here faster. Is everyone seated? Yes, all of them. Get your hands off. Let's go. Looks like everyone's seated. Lesha, what's up with your version? Nothing. What about yours? Mine? Nothing with mine either. Citizens, be careful. Let's get going. Marina Petrovna, would you like some tea? No, thank you. Tell me about your relationship with Genity Sashko. Has Alexei told you everything yet? We're investigating a murder here, so answer the question. Do I have to remind you of the question? Yes, I was dating Gunna, but we broke up. How long ago? The day Christina died. Varia. I'm coming. Finally, the flood is here. Did you reach Michalik? No, I didn't. He's drinking. What to do? I don't know. Let's wipe it up. And what Marina finished today already? Dating anyone. Also call the teacher. Do the police know? Yeah, they're all the first to know. Yeah. Just don't tell anyone. Uh, sure. Marina, I know you're home, Marina. What's this all about? Explain it to me like a human being, what happened? Give me the umbrella.
You didn't have an umbrella. I didn't. Hi. Hi. Where are you going? I'm moving. Moving where? I don't know. You work the night shift. Yes. Let's switch. I'll do your shift for you tonight, then you do it for me sometime. Sergei doesn't approve of such things. Well, you come in early tomorrow morning, take my place, and he won't know. All right, it's a deal. You know what's going on here, don't you? Yes. Watch this. The longest keys to the cell. Maybe you'll catch some criminal in the night. Thank you. Okay, bye. For me to make the chart you're talking about, I need teachers. I can't. Where am I gonna get teachers? Hello, Elvira. Hello, Galia. Hello. I need to talk to you. Varia. Excuse me. I'm listening. We have to do something about this. Do what? I found out in confidence from Katya's mom that your Marina is sleeping with Jenna, Roma Sashko's dad. Really? Yes. I also found out that she killed Christina. Can you imagine? It's a rumor. What if it's not? And the killer is teaching our kids. Galia. Let me deal with this first, and if the information is confirmed, we'll take action, okay? Are you sure? I promise. Okay. Have a good day. Goodbye. Varia. I told you not to tell anyone. I didn't tell anyone. Two more streets flooded overnight. Orkaveya and Pryrichnea. Tereshchenko will be back. You'll go and help the victims take things out, etc. Where's Yura? I don't know. Maybe he went to the bathroom. Have you lost your fear? He's off duty. Yura. Yura. 
Yura, why don't I see you in the ward? I mean, are you home and the duty? Wait. Why is our cell open? Tereschenko, get up. What are you doing here? Hello, Oleg Sargevich. I'm on duty. In the cell. I'm replacing Yoa. I see. You're a... Two outfits in a row. Lyosha, you're crazy. What do you mean? Marina kicked you out. Why did she kick you out? I left on my own. She walks around the house and whines. I'm sick of it. In principle, it's good that you moved away from a woman under investigation. Since when is she under investigation? Since yesterday. Petho, wait a minute. Petho, Petya, wait. How did Marina end up under investigation? Lyosha, I can't tell you that. Come on. Don't hesitate. Okay, you ask for it. Marina is Gina's lover. That's why she has motives to kill Christina. Says who? My reliable source. Petha. Who? Elvira, my brother's wife. She's the headmistress at the school. Jenna paid her to keep quiet about their affair. Why didn't you say anything? Well, you don't tell me everything, do you? Okay. It can't be. I'm telling you. Elvira promised to fire her. Fired who? Marina. She's sleeping with Jenna, the husband of the late Christina. They've lost their conscience. TV is all about debauchery. And now it's at school too. It's horrible. Tanya, give me two liters of dark beer. And take me a sweet. Take your pick. She's the reason Jenna killed his wife. What a sin, oh my god. Because of who? Marina. Come on. Sure. Elvira Pavlovna. Hello. Hello. What happened? Why did they cancel my class? Did the schedule change? No. No. You don't work here anymore. You'll have a substitute by second period. How's that? I don't want someone on our staff who denigrates the title of teacher. Yes, Marina. I've been informed that you're in an intimate relationship with the father of one of our students. All the parents know. They're furious. You're fired for violating moral and ethical standards and undermining the authority of the school. 
just a second. Here. Read this and sign it. This is your dismissal order? Here you go. I already signed it. Andrew, be careful. Easy, easy. It's all right. Calm down, calm down. Get them out. Daddy's gonna save everyone. Just a second. Oh, my God, Jenna. Jenna, don't. I'll do it myself. Let me back you up. Let me try, look. The water's cold. It's wet in here. Get the kids out. Come on. Come on. The first cyborg has gone. The first one's gone. Are you okay? Come on, come on, yay. Just a second. Here you go. Hold out my hand. Come on. Come on. Good job. Jenna, thank you. We can have another one. Lifeguard. Daddy's a hero. Here you go. Thank you. Kalia, I need a job. I can't stay at home. I'm going crazy. And it's embarrassing in front of Roma. Please help me. I don't know. We're organizing a committee to help the flood victims. Will you lead it? Yeah, when? What do you mean? When to lead it? I'll call you. Sorry. Yes, Oleg. No guilty conscience. What are you talking about? Here's what I'm thinking. That's my Anya in your class, and Eric took her. So maybe you slept with my husband, too? Count me. I'll go. Get out of here. I'm not selling you anything. Go. So don't go to Leshy's anymore. He has problems with his house. I've been tipped off. Wait, Marina, hi. How's it going? What are your plans for tonight? My plans have nothing to do with you. Look, I'm younger than you, Jenna, and better in bed. You won't regret it. Prick, I'd call. Leave me alone. Don't be rude and hide your pride. You're not a little girl anymore, so you can't act like one. Let me go. It hurts. <laughs> Maybe he paid you for it? Then name your price and I'll pay it. Marina, are you okay? Are you alright? I'll just have a minute with Boris. You again? Let me go. Me again? Hey, let him go. What are you doing, asshole? Alright, young ones, get out of here. You a cop? Who do you think I am? Holy shit. Yeah, you remember me. Let go of me. Give me your hand. Boris, sit and wait. Marina. Marina, wait. I beg you very much. Forgive me. In a way, it's really all because of me. But I didn't say anything to all look about you in Jenna. It was Elvira. Go to hell. Thank you.
Hello, Oleg. Hi, have you seat? Any news? What year were you born? 80th. November 10th. Yeah, what does that have to do with my birthday? Because this is an official interrogation. About the murder of your wife, Kristina Sashko. New circumstances have come to light. Marina Konovalia claims you had an intimate relationship with her, according to her testimony. Kristina came home and found you with Marina. She made a scene, said she was going to file for divorce, and demanded you get out of the house. Is that true? No. I wasn't cheating on Kristina. I don't know why Marina made up that story. Maybe your new guy Lesha put her up to it. Did you know he was living with her? Where were you the night Kristina was killed? At home. Can anyone confirm that? Roma, we came from school, we had dinner, we sat and watched TV, we went to bed, that's it. So you have no alibi. What alibi, Oleg? According to your version, Marina Konovaliuk is perjuring herself. So there was no connection between you two, okay? I'll call her and we'll set up a confrontation. Wait, Oleg, put the phone down. Yeah, we did it once, I admit it, purely by accident. Judge for yourself. She's a beautiful woman, I don't have sex. What would you do if you were me? So you're saying you had sex once? I told her right away that I wasn't leaving Christina. Maybe that's why Christina died. Marina killed her. Is that what I said? Not Marina. Who did? She could have asked someone else up to it. Go on. Fedia. They were in the same class, they even had an affair. How do you know? You call her, she'll tell you everything. I will. Call her, I've got things to do. Sit down, the interrogation isn't over, sit down. Marina, it's Oleg again. Could you come to us again? Let me go, I know where I'm going. Be thankful we didn't call your mom. Here you go, Yoa. It's not my fault. Don't be pompous, assault on a woman, resisting arrest. And here he has a cold weapon. I was standing there talking to a classmate. Suddenly you flew up and twisted my arms. Second of all, what kind of edge weapon is that? There's no locking device. The blade's less than nine centimeters. See how competent he is. Any statement from the victim? What do you mean? What statement, Yura? It was Marina. She left under stress. My word isn't good enough for you? Marina, oh, what are you doing here? I've been called in for questioning. Witness the assault, then. Lyosha, I don't have time for this right now. Yura, is it because of that duty? Take it off. I'll be right back. You're take it off. My hands are getting stiff. Did I seduce you myself? Jenna, well, how can you lie like that? And who was the first one who offered to homeschool my son? I just wanted to help Roma. He was sick a lot. Do you really think I seduced you on purpose? Maybe you also think I killed Christina. 
Oluk Sargavik, you've known me since childhood. Do I look like a murderer? I don't know what to expect from you, Marina. You were also intimate with Fedor Denisenko. Of course not. You had an affair in your early years, didn't you? No, I didn't. Citizen Konovaliuk, where were you on the night of Kristina Sashko's murder? At my home. Who can confirm that? I can. Tereshchenko closed the door. On the night of Kristina Soshko's murder, Marina was at home. I can testify her alibi is official. Yes, Kalia? The position's been filled. What do you mean? I don't get it. We had a deal. A couple hours ago, I didn't know you were scum. Jenna, you was cheat on your wife with our children's teacher. Then pretend to be a grief-stricken husband. Do you take us for idiots? Kalia, I'll explain everything to you. I'm not Kalia, I'm Nikolai Valentinovich. I see. Goodbye. You wouldn't happen to have a place to rent, would you? I don't. Go to Lara's. She's got a new outbuilding. Maybe she'll let you in. Where's Lara? Her house is over there. See the green fence? I see it. There you go. I got it. Thank you. Good luck. Hi. Hi. How's your back? My back's fine. It's a little sore, though. Did I tell you? You did. I'll see you tomorrow for an appointment. What time will you be there? I can't tomorrow. I have a case. Then I can do my back. Well, don't take too long. I'll do my best. What brings you to our neighborhood? Mystery investigation. What mystery investigation? I'm looking for a place to live. Really? Aha. Uh -huh. And you and Marina? Marina and I. Oh, yeah, she's a suspect now. That, too. Oh, shit. What? That's it. My back. Oh, my God. Just a little bit more. Watch the steps. Here we go. I'll get it. I paid out of my own money. I don't have any money. I don't. What do you mean you don't have any? You've got money for yourself. But when you pay your salary, you don't have it. Can I get an answer? Yes, Jenna. Hi, Anton. I need a paycheck, at least part of it. Jenna, there's no money. I swear, wait a little longer, please. I've been patient for months. Are you crazy? I'm not an ordinary employee, so you can't give me this crap. Or should I tell Oleg about your black accounting? What do you think? You're in no position to threaten me. You take care of your own problems. I'll find the money. Oh. 
Oh, come on. Are you drinking again? No. I promised you, didn't I, so I'm not drinking. Sit down. Anything wrong with work? No, it's fine. It's fine. They'll pay us back. Bastards. What do you want? A PlayStation, for example. I'll give you a PlayStation. Hello, Jenna. Hello. Where are you going? To Victoria Sergeyevna. You can only enter with a pass. Yesterday people were trying to get in. Okay, let her know I'm here. Let me know. Jenna, what's your business? She owes me money. I see. Yes. Victoria Sergeyevna Gennady Sashko is here to see you. May I pass? I'm on my way home. If it's urgent, he can come tomorrow. Well, no way today. Jenna, come tomorrow. Sorry, Jenna, come tomorrow. I understand tomorrow is tomorrow. Any sandwiches left? Yes, chicken sandwiches from yesterday. Great. May I come in? Oh, yeah. Jenna, calm down. Do you want something? What do I want? I realize you don't want to talk to me, but you have to. You owe me money. Yes. Christina's last paycheck, vacation pay, and compensation for me and my son for the loss of my wife and mother, okay? Please calm down. You'll get your salary and vacation pay at the end of the month. You don't even have a paycheck yet, and I don't owe you anything else. You don't owe me anything, no. You do owe me money. I know exactly why Christina tendered her resignation. If you do a little digging into your work, you'll find a lot of interesting things. Jenna, let's go. Fuck you, we're not finished. So, here's the deal, Jenna. Get your hands off me. Let's go, take him away. If you're referring to the cracks, I'm not in the mood for that right now. I've got bigger problems. This is my memo. All the technical documents are here. Keep in mind, I won't be responsible for your mistakes. I was referred here in 2005 after medical school. You're not from around here? No. I'm a commuter. Like you. But I didn't come here alone. I came here with my husband. But he ran away quickly. He couldn't stand the local boredom. And me. I had to work for three years at first. 
Then I got used to it. The city gave me a place to live. Yes. Yeah, that's how I... Turn right. Got stuck here. Be patient. Got it. No regrets. Why? What's done is done. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. The people aren't bad. To the left. Personal life's not so good. Yeah. Good for you, men are either married, or they're scum like Borea and Fedor. Or fools like Pedia, your partner. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm not judging your marina. Sorry. What woman doesn't want to be loved? How's the ointment? Is it warming up? Larissa, it's burning. I have to. You have to. Tomorrow you'll be as good as new. Thank you. Daddy. 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 Get up, Daddy. Daddy. Yes? I'll probably go to school. I'm sick of staying home. Good for you. High five. Good boy. Good morning. Good morning. That's a nice way mint you got there. My back has never felt so good. You're a miracle worker. The food will burn. Lesha, where are you staying? At Lara's. Which one? Larissa, the trauma surgeon. Why? Nothing. Petio, wait. Do you love Larissa? I don't love anyone. Petia, friend, I swear to you. Nothing happened with Larissa and nothing will happen. 
Why are you smiling? No reason. Go to the store, get something to eat. Yes, I will. What do you have? Batten and sausages. I'll be right back. Petya. You just kicked her out? Why should I be ashamed? I'm not the one sleeping with other men. I told Marina, go look for groceries wherever you want. You're no longer a customer in my store. That's right. What did she want to buy? Who? Marina, that's who you were just talking about. Dairy products. She also said her nerves gave her a stomachache. She's an artist. Trash can. They had it bad. Everybody calm down. There was a call. Get back to your seats. Good morning, children. Good morning. Now let's see who's present and who's not. Zenia Overchinko. Here. Good. Where's Marina Petrovna? Is she sick? No, she was fired. She's been messing around with your father. What did you say? Calm down, Roma. What are you doing? Let me see your face. Marina? Marina, open the door. I need to talk to you. I don't have your things. Leave. Marina, I need to ask you a few questions related to the investigation. Please open up, and quickly, I'm on duty. I don't need anything from you. Leave. You only think about yourself. By the way, I need to eat something too. But you don't live here anymore. Forgot. Actually, I do live here. And as a police officer, it's my duty to ensure the safety of my suspect. Yeah. And I immediately suspected that you and Jenna had something going on. Aha, uh -huh, that's why I asked Petya to do some background checks. He asked Elvira to help. Turns out she already knew about your relationship for a long time. It can't be true. If she knew, she would have caused a scandal right away. Money can buy silence. Yes, Jenna paid her to keep quiet after Christina's death. It became too dangerous to cover for him. Besides, Petya convinced her to go to the police and tell everything, so I'm sorry. But give me the spare key set. Quickly, I don't have much time. And please, prepare something for dinner. Please. Oleg Sarjevic. Yesterday, Gennady Sashko illegally entered the territory of the power plant. He stormed into my office, threatened me, and demanded money. He caused a commotion and assaulted my security guard. This is an official statement. We will investigate this. You are obligated to do so. Genity, I understand that you are under stress and upset. But Victoria came with a complaint against you. Did you really barge into her office, assault someone, and try to extort money? Me? No, that didn't happen. We just yelled a bit. Also, they yelled at me. I see. I'm asking you not to confront anyone. You can't afford to alienate people right now. I know. Gennady. 
Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Roma ran away after the first class. He... Why didn't you inform me? Why didn't you call me right away? Because he beat up Vasya and refused to apologize. Why did he beat him up? Because of you and Marina, Gennady. I understand that you are grieving, but you need to take care of your son instead of... You forgot the keys. Hi, Laura. Hi. You still need to move your things to my place. I'll be a little late today. You can warm up dinner yourself, okay? I've prepared everything. You'll find it in the fridge. See you later. Larissa, the first sorry. But I'll stay at Marina's. Why? It's necessary for the case. For the case. That's sacred. Have a nice day. Hey. Hey. You seem nervous, Petya. Hello. Hey, Wanderer. Stay there. Sit down. Take off your backpack and sit. What did you do at school today? Why did you beat up Vasya? Where were you wandering around half of the day? What would mom say if she found out? Mom won't find out. Roma, stop, come back here, Roma. You all drive me crazy. Lesh, are you going home? If there are assignments, I'm ready. There aren't any. Then see you tomorrow. Are you going back to Marina? I even know who's saying that. Do you think it's a good idea to live with a suspect? I'm not just going to live there. Then how? Let's assume Feda and Marina are accomplices. He might show up at her place at night. I thought the cover story about being a roommate is much more productive than just watching from outside. We don't have any people here anyway. Suppose that Fedor isn't dumb enough to return to Marina knowing you're there. Firstly, he may not know it's dangerous if he calls her and he won't interact with locals either. Secondly, I can snore loudly and imitate sleep very well. Are you kidding around? Kind of. All right, give it a try. Copy. Let's go. I swear I didn't say anything. Has anyone called? Okay, I'm heading home. If anything, I'll be in touch. Roma? 
Roma, are you sleeping? Roma. What a hell. Come on. Diana, is Roma with you? Call Marina. I think she doesn't want to see you. Is Roma here? No, he's not here. Why? He's missing. Jenna and I are going to a friend's house. Maybe Roma is hiding there. Lyosha, you and Petya go to your classmates. Where's Petya? He'll be here soon. Let's go. Let's go to the lake. Hello. 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 What are we standing here for? Let's go. Petya, can I have a word with you? Why did you bring her here? She knows the addresses of all the students. Marina knows them too. Where's Marina? She's waiting at home. Why are you bothering them? So let's go. Let's go. First to the Polish Chooks. Straight up. Yes? Lyosha, did you find him? We've been through all his classmates. He's nowhere to be found. Maybe I should come with you. Why should I sit here? Why don't we go to Severov's? Do you know where he lives? Yes, I do. Is Elvira with you? Yes. I see. There's a river down there, maybe he's near it. We've been everywhere we can think of, we've been by the river. Calm down, we'll find him. Maybe he's at home. Does he have a key? He does. So what are we waiting for? Check it out. Yes, Petya? What wrong? What? I see. Then that's it for today. Go home. If he doesn't show up tomorrow, we'll gather our men and check the neighborhood. Oleg, I do not understand. What do you mean? Jenna, I'm telling you we'll find him. Maybe he's home now. He's crying and you're standing here. Come on, hurry up. Call me if you need anything. I will. Let's go home, Lyosha. I'll take you to Marina first, and then we'll do it ourselves. Why do we need to take you over Pavlovna for a ride? Let's go to your place first, and then I'll drive myself. I know where he might be. There are abandoned houses nearby. They often gather there with the boys. Come on, I'll show you. We can't arrive any farther. We'll have to walk. This way. Roma. There's no one here. Is someone there? Let's go take a look. Let's go.
Roma. Roma. Hello. 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 What are you doing here? Everyone was evacuated a long time ago. I live here. Interesting. Did a boy come by? Eight years old, that tall. Where would a boy come from? I live alone on this street. Why don't we help you pack up and take you there? Yes. Where to? To a hotel. They offered to take me to a hotel, but there's plenty of people there without me. I'll stay here. What do you mean? It's impossible to live here. It's okay to live here. You go. I have everything. I've got a kerosene. Oh, come on. Go on, go on. Let's go. Lesha, we have to go back. Let's go, let's go. We'll come back if we have to. She has a kerosene, but Roma doesn't. He needs us more now. You hang in there. Follow me. What's up? Any thoughts on where to go from here? There's a place. Jenna's house by the lake. Maybe Roma's there. You know exactly where? Can you show me? I'm sorry. We can't get through there. The road's washed out. So we'll swim. Idiots. You can't do a damn thing without me. The water's already here. Flooded the warehouses. It's all over. Anton, when did I tell you to take out the activists, pay up and take them out? This new one paid them, and they told everyone that they give a salary to the most persistent. Idiot. You don't know how to work with people. Arcady, there's no place to take the goods anyway. We're cut off from the world. It should be taken to any dry place in the city. If even one bag gets into the water, We'll poison a lot of people. What about the workers? Pay them all. Everyone? So they don't get in the way. And today? Where am I going to get that kind of money? What's up with your bereavement fund? Kalia? What? Arkady, it's a misuse. It's an article. You forget who you owe and get the trucks ready for loading today. What do you mean? Where am I gonna get them? You can get them out of the ground. What are you, the mayor or something? Lyosha, wait. It's Roma's toy. Roma's? So it's Roma's bike. Too apparently he took a boat with oars, which means we can catch up with him very quickly. You're gonna take it? It's a stranger's. Marina. What do you mean? Seize it for business purposes. Here.
Roma? Roma. Kennedy? What are you doing here? I'm looking for Roma. He's not here. I got it. Tell me, what happened yesterday? Why did Roma fight with Vasia? Maybe Vasia started it first. No, it was in my class. Roma hit him first. Why? The boys had a fight. I don't know. How come you're a teacher? Please don't talk to me like that. It's just that Vasya told your son that you're seeing Marina. And he got angry. Now leave the school, the kids will be here. What a bastard. Vasya, come here. What did you tell Roma? Let go, it hurts. Look into my eyes, what did you say to him? Get your hands off the kid, are you okay? I'm okay. Go to school, keep in mind, his parents will know about this. Now it's clear who Roma is like. Like what? Inadequate. So while I was giving you money, Roma was the best in school, and now he's inadequate? What money? What are you talking about? Go where you're going, go. Hello girls. Bitch. Roma. There's Roma. Faster. Where are you going, Marina? Roma. Roma. Grab the rope. Come on. Grab it. A little to the right, a little more to the right. You hear that? Come on. And one. I got it. Come on. Good boy. I got it. There you go. Everybody okay? You okay? I'm okay now. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Let's shout. Let's go. I'll take a look. And the pediatrician? I'll do it myself. Jenna, we found him. Is he alive? He's alive. He's in the hospital. The doctors are examining him. Where was he? He fell into the water. He's okay. Don't worry. I got it. I'm on my way. Jenna, don't do it now. He's very much against you and me. Someone told him about us. I've already punched the bastard. Jenna, all right, come on. Did I touch your son? Stop it. Damn it. Let me help you. Don't. He beat you up pretty good. I beat him up too. More like a beating. 
You need to go to the hospital, get your bruises looked at. What do I need him for? To at least get some compensation. Sit down. I'll give you a ride. Where's your son? At school. Marina. What's wrong with him? Tell me what's wrong with him. No signs of hypothermia. No injuries either. Listen to me. He refuses to go home. How about Diane's? I got it. Roma can stay with us as long as he needs to. Of course he can. Can you believe it? Roma's turned up. He was floating down the river by himself in a boat. Don't you want to consult me? You don't understand the situation. You're the one who told me you can't stay in this town after your friend's death. I ordered a boat to send you and Andre to the region. And you have a new situation. I take it no one's going anywhere anymore. We're not going anywhere. How long will Roma stay with us? As long as it takes. What do you mean? What's this delegation? Oleg Sargevic, yesterday I urged you to subdue your friend Psychopath and protect the city from him, but you do not act. That's the result. Father beat up the child has a psychological trauma. Jenna, attack the child. Yes, I'm a witness. I tried to intervene, but he attacked me too. Diana, what is this nonsense? I want to see my son. I want to see Roma. Jenna, he's not here. Okay. Don't you get it the first time? Marina said he'd be here. Get out of here. Get out. Maybe you're too hard on him. He's our friend after all. Roma. 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 Call the police. I'm not leaving here until I see my son. You're gonna see the police. Roma. Jenna. It's okay, we'll be right there. Yura. Yes? Take Petya and go to the mayor's house. Detain Jenna and bring him here. Copy. Anybody home? Who's there? Hello. Hello, are you looking for the boy again? No, we already found the boy. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Svetlana. Svetlana, I'm Marina, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've come to offer you a place to stay. My house is big and there's enough room for everyone. No. It's impossible to live here. That's all right. The rain will be over soon. Everything will dry out. Svetlana, the house is in a state of disrepair. It's nothing. Let's not argue. Take your valuables and let's go. Svetlana, let's go. We'll get the rest of the stuff later. Okay. I'll take my passport. Okay. I'll wait for you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Svetlana? Hurry up. I'll be right back. Let me help you. It's okay. Don't worry, it's just a flood. Then we'll come back and get everything. Of course we will. Oh, my God. Let's go quickly. Jenna, trust me, it's better this way. You can see for yourself that the situation in the city is not calm. You sit down and rest, and I'll take care of things. You'll be like at a resort. How long do I have to sit here? A couple days. How will Roma be without me? Diana will look after him. Come on. Is there a shower? Yes, there is.
What's wrong? That's the thing, nothing happened. With me. You sent me home and you saved the baby. What about me? When my son is born, he'll say, Dad, you're a cop. Did you ever save anyone? What am I gonna tell him? No, son. I spent all my time on duty doing crossword puzzles. I'm sick of it. I'm going to Elvira's to work as a gym teacher. That's the right thing to do, but we have to find Fedya first. Where? He's nowhere to be found. And at the factory. Lesha, the factory is closed. All the more reason you can hide there. There's plenty of space. It's a warehouse. Listen. It's true, Fedya worked there. He knows the factory well. Exactly. What exactly? We have to go to the factory. Freeze. What do you want? The gate's open. There's no one at the post. The police are worried. Valera, don't start. We need to inspect the production hall. It's not allowed. Call the owner. If he says yes, it's fine. What are you doing here? You work in the bar. In the bar too. Oleg Sergeyevic. We're at the fertilizer factory to inspect the territory. Can you help us get a pass? What the hell are you doing there? There's speculation that the wanted Fyodor Denisenko may be hiding here. There is no Fyodor. I've looked everywhere. Or don't you have anything better to do? Let's get out of here, Petya. Marina, come here. The holiday has come to the house. Quiet, quiet. Open the doors. You awake, Svetlana? Who? I'm already awake. Surprise. Marina. Why didn't you tell me that you don't live alone? I want to drink to you. Well... You're such a beautiful couple. Thank you, Svetlana. Svetlana? We're not a couple. What? Is this your trendy open relationship? Your idea? Svetlana, I'm not like that. I know you. Svetlana, you misunderstand. Lyosha is my tenant. He rents a room. What do you mean, a tenant? Wait a minute. You have two rooms. I took your room. That's okay. I have a cot. I'll put it next to you. It's fine. Thank you for dinner and hospitality. I'll be going. Svetlana, did we do something to offend you? No, not at all. Where are you going? Your house is gone. There are a lot of abandoned houses. I'll find something. Then we're not letting you go anywhere. And don't worry, we're a normal, conservative couple. We share a room and sleep under the same blanket. All right, tenant. I want you to get married and not mess with Marina's head. I will, by all means. We'll drink to that. Poor. I agree. Footballers, don't get in my window. 
Good evening. Hi. Got anything to eat? Sure. Is the case closed? Is Jenna the prime suspect now? What's Jenna got to do with it? Jenna was arrested for hooliganism. He'll be released in two days. What are you doing at work? I had a lot of evidence against him. By the way, we save people's lives at work or their property. Alexei and I have our own version. With who? What version? It's a secret investigation. What secret? The whole town knows that your investigation is a dead end because Alexei is having an affair with this Marina. What makes you think they're having an affair? He knows she was with Jenna and may have been involved in the murder and he moved in with her. Just so you know, he's watching her because Fedya might come to see her. They could be accomplices. For real? Right now, Elvira, it was a secret. Do you understand? Of course I do. I'm not a gossip. You know what I was thinking? If Svetlana comes in and sees the cart. Thank you. Our legend is over, so I suggest that we fold out the couch and sleep on it together. Lesha, of course I understand everything. Reputation. Marina, what reputation? You're so gullible. I'm kidding. Lie down. What's wrong with your arm? Pulled. Let me take a look. No, it's nothing serious. Suit yourself. Are you asleep? I'm thinking about Roma getting hit by a wave. I can't sleep because of adrenaline. Either as soon as I close my eyes, I see you jumping into the water. It's like the Malibu lifeguard. What were you thinking when you jumped in? Nothing. Reflex. Hmm. Reflex. Does it hurt? Not really. Let's have a look. Lyosha, it's nothing serious. Let me take a look. Maybe you have something there. You never know. Come on. It hurts. Be patient. I don't think it's broken. We should see a doctor, I promise. Okay. Lyosha, don't. I'm sorry. I've had enough with Jenna, and I don't want another one. Of course, I'm sorry. Lesha. Lyosha. 
Alexei. Why are you sleeping here? Did you have a fight? We had a fight. Because of me. Svetlana, we had a fight because of me. Here's tea. Oleg, water. Oleg, cheese. Oleg, sausage like you like. Let go, I won't fight anymore, I swear. I can't, don't you understand? It's a procedure Taras has to withdraw his statement. Victoria needs to be settled, be patient for a couple days, these sausages. How's Roma? He's fine. He's at Diana's with Kalia, everything's quiet there. Here's some toothpaste and a brush. Oleg. Jenna. I'll stop by their place, see how he's doing. Just don't tell him I'm here. Tell him I'm on a business trip. Sure, don't be sad. Make sure you eat. Svetlana, where are you going, running away from us again? I wanted to go home, to pick up some things, I have nothing. Well, I'll go home myself, if there's anything left, I'll bring it back, you have another assignment. What's that? Make sure Marina shows her hand to the doctor. I will. If she refuses, I'll ask you to use cunning and wit. Copy. I'm counting on you. My boss. Yes. Alexei, where are you? We have an emergency. Somebody stole medical supplies from the hospital. Patia's on his way to pick you up. Got it. I'm on my way out. Svetlana, you're in charge. <laughs> the country won't forget you. Goodbye. Victoria, hello. Hello. The car won't start? No. Shall I take a look? Please. They say Genity's in jail. Is he accused of murder? That's a possibility? Why? I mean, he's crazy, but it's unlikely he killed his wife. Have you questioned Arkady Seminovic? Do you think we should? I think he was more interested in Christina's murder than anyone else. She was an annoying employee. She was interested in everything, and nine years ago, he was already in the process of rebuilding the hydroelectric plant. You don't think that's good for? There's kickback on kickback. Christina may have found some flaws in the hydroelectric plant. She asked me to double check. But I didn't have time. These problems with the factory. What's the problem with the factory? They hate me for it. Arkady's son is the director of the factory. And the mayor of the city who ensures the low rates is his son-in-law. And Christina's husband was the chief accountant there. Could he have known about any illegal schemes? Of course he did. And could have blackmailed Arkady or his son. So they killed Christina to scare him. Or Christina decided to expose Arkady.
Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, Victoria. You should be in law enforcement. Have you thought about changing careers? You don't pay enough. That's true, too. Let me give you a ride. Someone broke into my office last night, cracked open the safe, and stole medical supplies. Forbidden. It's horrible. Yes. Where? Where what? The crime scene where? Here. Okay, let's do it. Lesha. Yes. You and Roma came and went so fast yesterday. We didn't even have time to talk. That's the way it is. I understand. Come back after work at 7 p.m. It's raining. There's a lot of looters and business. Lyosha. It's all clear. The safe is simple. It was open quickly, let's go, or we won't be in time for your old lady. Yes, let's go. What old lady? Marina saved the old lady, Svetlana. She lives with us now. With you? With them. Congratulations. Thank you, let's go. Let's go. You boys want a list of missing medications? Of course I do, uh, thank you. You're welcome. We'll keep looking, let's go. Marina, tell Svetlana that there's nothing to please her. The house is a mountain of garbage. We collected everything we had. Yes, everything. We're stuck. I see it, we got to push. You hear that? Hear what? A dog howling. Don't give me that. Hold on, it's definitely a dog. Let's go check it out. Let's take care of the car first. Where are you taking me? There's a lot of dirt in there. We saved the stuff, but we're gonna leave the dog behind. We're in the middle of the mud. Quiet, I think it's over there. Oh my god! It's Soka Fedina's dog. Are you sure? Yes. What's she doing here?
That's terrible. Wait, does Leshen know about you and that parasite? Of course he does. He's investigating the case. So you blew him off. Good for you, if he knows about it and is still with you. It means he loves you. Let's go to the grocery store. Lesha needs to be fed. If you're scared, I'll go myself. Wait. Should I be afraid all my life? Let's go. How insolent some people can be. You kick them out the door and they come through the window. I told you not to come into this store again. She found an old lady and brought her in. She thinks it'll help. Sorry, Katia. You hear me, Marina found me for a reason. My house was falling apart. She found me and brought me to her and pulled Roma out of the river. And you're an angry woman, understand? All right, calm down. We're leaving. Wait, we'll buy more groceries. Tanya, serve the woman. I'm I'm not serving them. Why are you so angry? Haven't you ever been in trouble in your life or cheated on someone? I've never gone to bed with another man's husband. Let's go. But you cheat us regularly. You weighed my herring a kilo yesterday. I checked it at home. 850 grams. That's a scale error. Tanya, serve the woman. What have you got? Here. And the bag. It's a murder for hire. What makes you think it's a murder? He was drinking. He fell. He tripped and... And covered himself with hay. Elksi. It was a one-time thing. Autopsies aren't my specialty, and you can figure out how to classify the wounds, if there are any. But the time and cause of death needs to be established. Oh, okay, bring it in. Don't tell anyone about the body. Things are tense in the city as it is. Why are you nodding? That's your first concern, me and Yura to the morgue, and you. There you are, Oleg Sargevic. When will you find my TV? How much longer do I have to wait? Anatolyevna, we can't deal with you now. Bandits. Let's go. Agreed. Let's go, Petya. Wait. What about the dog? Fadia's mom doesn't want it. What should we do? Zulia is a good dog. A viral will kick him out of the house. Lara, why are you so sad? Because of Lachelle. How did you guess? It's not hard to guess. He lives with you, our Marina. Do you like him? Very much. It's nothing personal. He's following her, watching her. Just don't tell anyone. Why? He thinks Fedor's gonna show up at her place. Fedor who? 
the one Marina and Jenna hired to kill Christina. On a mission, Lesha, on a mission. These kids are monsters running around the school so much, they almost pushed me down the stairs. Lara, how's it going? Guys, be patient. It's not gonna get any faster. I'll call you when I'm done. Lara, I'll wait here. I just need to make an official report. Hold on. Here's Fetter's personal effects. But there's two pairs of watches. One was on his arm, the other fell out of his pocket. These are the ones I saw on Fetter's arm. And these I don't know. It's a mystery. You're fast. What did the doctor say? How's the arm? It's fine. Help me make dinner. Lesha will be here soon. Let him cook for himself. Are you still mad at him? I'm not mad at anyone. I'm just tired. I don't want to play. I lost again. Let's do it again. When is my dad coming to pick me up? Doesn't he need me? He's probably living with Marina now. Of course he needs you. He'll get off work and pick you up if you want. I do. Roma, let's play again. Let's do it. Go on. That's kind of my watch. Yes, it is. It's mine. I lost it, but I don't remember where. Where did you find it? In the pocket of the murdered Fyodor Denis and Co. Wait, Oleg. You think I killed him? Janady Sashko, you are charged with the murder of Fyodor Denisenko. Lesha. Svetlana. I'm sorry that so few things were saved. Thank you, thank you. Everything I could. Is Marina home? She's home. Did she see a doctor? I made her. What's wrong with her arm? I don't know. She came in upset. Yes. Marina, what happened? What? Have you been to the doctor? What's wrong with your arm? I don't have to answer to you. What did I do to deserve your rudeness? Alexei, what's your middle name? It doesn't matter. Are you sharing a room with me? 
Well, go there. And if you have any questions, summon me to the police station and question me there. I finished the autopsy. Cause of death was asphyxiation, dead about a week. I can't be more specific. Lara, you're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody, I'm home. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Who's winning? Me. Winner, can I talk to you for a minute? Good news for you. Roma wants to go to his father's tomorrow. He's not going anywhere. Apparently, Jen is going to be locked up in jail for a long time. For what? I don't know any details. Roma. Isn't my dad coming to pick me up? He doesn't need me. What are you talking about? Of course he will. He just had to go on an urgent business trip. Can you believe it? What business trip? He's not working. What do you mean? He got a job at the mayor's office. The flood commission. And you know what? What? Roma, your dad's a hero. That's cool. Did you hear that? My dad saves people. I'm telling you one more time, I didn't kill Christina. Enough already. Jenna, all the facts and evidence are against you. Write a clean confession. I'll do everything I can to get you the minimum sentence. What don't you understand? A confession to what? I'll tell you what. You hired Fedya to kill your wife, Christina. And then you didn't want to pay him, so you killed him. Is that what happened? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. You know me well. What are you making up? Yes. I know you. It's too complicated for you. It was simpler. You killed Christina yourself during an argument because of your relationship with Marina. And Fedya saw it. And you killed him as a witness. Is that what happened? I don't understand. Do you think like this because of the watch? I'm telling you again, I lost it. Where and when? I don't remember anywhere at the wake. For example, there were a lot of people there. I was drunk and I don't remember anything. Diana was there and Kalia. And Arkady Semyonovic. Arkady Semyonovic, what's he got to do with it? Why would he set you up? Because Christina and I knew about his black accounting. He killed Christina and framed me. Marina. I'm sorry. But you can't do that to a man. You have to be wiser. He's a good-looking man, and you know that women are always hanging around him, Lara called. That's fine. What good is that? He loves you. I don't know who he loves, but he doesn't love me. He's just watching me. He thinks I hired Fedor to kill Christina. That can't be. You're confused. You've been tricked.
Yes, Oleg Sargevic. Yes, of course I will tomorrow at 8 o'clock a.m. Good. They're calling me in for questioning. And you said it can't be. How so? He's such a decent man. I thought he was. Svetlana, good morning. I fell asleep so sweetly last night, and the alarm clock didn't go off again. What are we having for breakfast? I don't know what you're having, but Marina and I already had breakfast. Is this a boycott? What did I do to offend you? Nothing. Where's Marina? She's asking me. Do you think we're fools? Yeah, it's Gina's watch. I saw it on his arm. And you didn't take it? No, of course not. Look. What does this have to do with the watch? This watch was found on Fetter's body. No. On his body. He was murdered. Yes, you didn't know. No, of course not. And Janady Sashko claims you may have stolen it from him to give to the accomplice who killed Fyodor. That's nonsense. To frame Janady. It's not true. Oleg Sargevic. He's lying to you. He lied to me all the time, too. He lied about leaving his wife, about loving me, about keeping the family together for his son. He lied to me all the time. Marina, I believe you. But Janady Sashko is making serious accusations against you, organizing the murder of his wife. And you and I need to prove that's not true. Do you understand? I'm sick of staying home. I want to go to school. I'd still be here. I haven't seen my dad for a long time. Boys. I have an idea for you. What if we skip school today? A class? Yes. Instead, we'll go to Uncle Arkady and ask him to give us a tour of the hydroelectric plant. You'd like that, okay? Marina, have you been questioned again? Is it because of Feda? Did you know everything? Of course I knew, but I had orders not to tell anyone. Of course I did. Marina. Zulia, stop. Lesha, catch. Lesha. Zulia, stop. Thank you. Why don't you distract Sergei? And I'll conduct an investigative experiment. What? Distract Sergei. It's for the case. Valentina Andreyevna is sick and will not be in class today. And tomorrow? And all week the children will be homeschooled. Does that mean the kids will be home alone all week? What can I do? I don't have any teachers available. I don't have a substitute. What happened to Valya? A tick bite. Call Marina Petrovna. Let her teach the class for now. 
I don't know who you're talking about. What do you mean? Marina saved Roma, by the way, and she pulled Svetlana out of a destroyed house. She brought her back to live with her. And she's done a lot for the school. Call her. I will. Have a good day. Call her now. She was having an affair with Jenna. What can we do? Well, you see, he's not picking up. Hello, what do you want? Marina Petrovna, Valentina Andreevna was bitten by a tick. Could you come out to replace her? Of course, I'll be right there. Oh, okay. Well. He will. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day. You too. Greetings, comrade captain. Hi. I was just thinking, why are we catically looking for this killer? I suggest we check Boris and all his company. Hold on, is that a dog? Even if they're not involved in Fielder's murder, they know 100% of his business. Let's bring him in. It's a dog. Let's put some pressure on him. Where'd we get a dog? I don't know. Idiot. Get that dog out of here. What's going on here? Why the fuck did you bring a dog in here? So, Oleg Sargevic, I conducted an investigative experiment, thanks to which I solved the case. The murderer has been found. Zulia identified him. What murderer, asshole? Get lost in here. Don't make me angry, and take the dog away. Let's go, Shulia. Your brilliant idea. I swear no, he must have seen it in a movie. I understand him, but you... What are you doing? Where are the results on the hospital robbery? We're working on it. You better work on it. I need results today. You got it. Jenna, how are you? Fuck you. This water is here for a reason. Do you know why? Why? When its level gets too high, the floodgates open, the water goes into the turbines, and there, the different water levels generate electricity so you can watch cartoons at home. Can you imagine how cool that is? What are you doing here? This is a restricted area and no outsiders are allowed. Who let you in? Hi, my name is Diana. I'm Arkady Semyonovic's daughter. I grew up here and the guards know me. Why do you bring children? I promised my son and Kristina's son I'd show them the station. Good. Let's get out of here. I'll show you around. I'll be your guide. Thank you. Watch your step. What are your thoughts, Petya? No thoughts, no leads or witnesses, either. We're all drinkers here. I see. What the hell is this? It's a young people's vacation. What's wrong with them? Wait, why are they so scattered? Svita, my dear, hi. You're back. I knew you had a crush on me. You're so funny. Thank you. Let's go to my place. My sweetie, we'll do it another time. What nice eyes you have. Are you on the pill? Boria gave them to me. I'm out of them. Where's Boria? He's out too. 
Хотя, do you know Boris's address? Let's go to him. They're not well. They're fine. That's how we work. There is a machine room up ahead. But we're not going in there. Why not? Do you remember why the hydroelectric plant was shut down? There was an accident. But we're doing everything we can to make sure it doesn't happen again. This way, to keep the plant running safely, we're repairing the old units. We're replacing old ones with new ones. We're fixing the dam. We're reinforcing the banks of the power plant. We can get through here. This is where we're. What's over there? It's a utility room. Nothing interesting. No, please don't touch that. Diana. Why are you here? I decided to give the boys a tour, and Victoria Sergeyevna decided to give us one. We haven't time for a tour. Can we see the engine room? Of course you can. But not right now. Now we're going home. Let's go. This way. This way. Thank you. Goodbye. When water comes out of a river, regardless of rain or snow, it can flood nearby homes or even an entire village or town. That is why people invented to build bypass canals and various reservoirs. We also have a reservoir. You can see it here. Let me show you. Look. You can see our reservoir on the right behind the house. And if that doesn't work, people build barricades, like sandbags, for example. Why? Are you stupid? So that the water doesn't flow to the houses. Yes, Marina Petrovna. Yes, that's right. And what we do not do. Good question. Yes. Nikolai. Hello, may I? What do you want here? I have a proposition for you. Let's organize our residents to build a dam around the city. What dam? A sandbag dam. There are plenty of people in Plovnia who are out of work. All you need is sandbags and sand, and trucks to bring the sand. Yes, we considered that option at the town hall meeting. It doesn't make sense. There's too much water and it'll wash everything away. Hello. Yes, Sergei. It's a pity. I'll call you back. Anything else? How's Roma? Isn't he going to school yet? And Andrei's been gone a long time. After what you've done, you still have the nerve to ask how Roma is. Hello, Serioji. There's a car available. Send it right away to the chemical plant. How much longer do we have to wait for City Hall to do something? When elections are coming up, they make millions of promises. But when there is a real disaster, let everyone save themselves as best they can. Let them send us the emergencies ministry from the region at once. Or get them the fuck out of here, right? Right. First of all, the emergency situations ministry is busy right now. They're in flooded villages, and the situation there is much worse than here. Secondly, maybe it's time to do something ourselves before it's too late. For example, scooping water out of the river with a bucket. We could build dams out of sandbags, at least do something. You think you're the smartest one here? Why would I do that? Go tell your husband what to do. Let City Hall build the dam. What do they get paid for? By the time you wait for them, your house will be the first to wash away. That's what I think. We should try it. Young lady, wait. Don't talk to them. What do we do? 
Hold the mayor accountable. We need sacks, sand, and wheelbarrows. Can you find them? Sure. Guys, not much longer. Let's go. Hey, stop. Pull over. I said, what are you doing? That's my sand. Stop it. It's been under your fence for two years. Makarik, that's not your sand. It's mine. I mean yours. Take it all back or I'm calling the police. It's yours. It's yours. Wait, don't call the police. It's not for us. We're saving the city. We're saving the city. I'll tell them it's all illegal and you planted it on me. Shut your mouth. Why don't you tell me where we're gonna put it? In a cell. You can't. Jenna's in there and Jane is a suspect. He won't be bored. Guys, we have an emergency call. There's been a sand theft. Valera, you're an idiot. If we don't build a dam, your house will be the first to wash away. Let's do it this way. If anything, I'll buy you a truckload of sand with my money. To hell with you, use it. I wish you'd help me. Marina, let's go look at your building structures. Leave us alone. We'll take care of this ourselves. I can see how you handle yourselves. Let's go. The warehouse is full. We need to dump the water now. To flood the city, do you realize what you're saying? If the platinum bursts, it'll still flood and people will die. It won't come to that. What do you mean? Have you seen the projections? It's gonna rain. What do you think you're doing? Don't yell at me. It's your fault. You're the ones who didn't finish the reconstruction in time. Otherwise, we could have lowered the reservoir before the rains and everything would have been fine. Shall we find out who's to blame or shall we do something before it blows up? No, you will go to the people whose houses have not been flooded yet and tell them that their houses will be flooded too, and it's your fault. The water needs to be drained right away. It's not your responsibility. It needs to be done more and more broadly, otherwise it won't work. Men, don't stuff the bags so tightly with sand. Or there will be gaps. That's good. Stop. Careful. That's it. One end, one end. That's better. We're out of sand. For real? I got the last of it. Oh man, where's Petty with the men in the sand? Drop it, drop it, drop it. This way. What are your thoughts, citizens? Where do we get the sand? The quarry? And how are we going to transport it? I have a truck. 
If we get gas money, we'll go straight to the quarry. Spare some money. We'll chip in. Let's go. Let's go. Svetlana. Yes. Report. There were two dump truck trips before dark. There should be enough sand. You're good, Lesha. Thank you, Svetlana. Marina, don't you want to say something? I want you to. Respect other people's labor. I cleaned the floors. I'll clean everything. Can we talk like adults? I've been carrying some bags all day. I'm tired. Can you explain what happened? Uh, nothing. Nothing happened. Are you mad because we locked up your Jenna? He's not mine. I don't even care about him. Then what's the matter? It's you, it's you. It's not bad, it's a start. I trusted you. I told you everything. And you're just watching me. Waiting for your fetter to show up. You was earning a promotion. Who told you that? The whole town's talking about it. The whole town was so full of people with a lot of imagination. Yes. I lied. In the service about the stake-up, I couldn't say I liked the suspect. I was wondering if you get confused when you lie. That's how I live. If memory serves, I've never lied to you. What if mom finds out? She told us not to go to school for a while. She won't. We won't watch cartoons all day. My mom said if I don't go to school, I'll grow up unemployed. Come on, I gotta run home. Vesia, is it working out? Not exactly. Excuse me, may I? Sure, come on in. My dad's a lifeguard. He saves people from floods. You're lying. Your daddy's in jail because he killed your mom. What did you say? Roma, be quiet. Calm down, both of you. Marina Petrovna, it's the truth. Vasya. Roma. As it true about dad? No, Roma, it's... Uh, it is. He's in jail right now, but... Ah, uh, Roma, look, it's a mistake and he'll be released. He loved your mom very much and he couldn't kill her. That's not true. Everyone says he wanted to marry you. It's not true. Look. Your dad and I made a mistake. 
And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Roma. Edic, where are you? We need more sand. I'm sorry, I have an urgent job. Is the work in progress? Should we issue respirators to the movers? No, we can't. They'll just blab that we're storing something dangerous in here. It's a health hazard. Dangerous, there are people. He'll come home, have a glass of vodka and that's it. No contagion will take him. Understand? Look. Roma is in a lot of pain right now. His mom just died. Do you understand? And we have to do something to help him and support him. Help him together? How? Sasha, Zenia, please help me. I'm asking you for the last time. Walk the dog tonight for half an hour. If I don't walk it, it starts eating Yelvra's shoes and she yells at me. Snea. Damn it. Lyosha, are you my friend? Yes. Can you take a friendly walk with Julie today? I'm on duty today, and I have to take her for a walk. If I don't, she starts eating Elvira's shoes. Since you're on duty today, I need to interview Jenna. Will you let me in tonight? Are you okay? What do you mean? Directly, Jenna will tell Sarjic about it, and he'll fire me. And what will I do without a job? What are you talking about, Sarjic? We've been over this a hundred times. Can you help me? So, Alexei, I tell you about my problems, but you don't even listen. I'm telling you no, understand? Your last word. Last. And I'm not a pussy. A pussy. Victoria. I'm here on business. Ah, uh, yes. They're building a dam to keep the city from flooding, but there aren't enough cars to bring sand. Don't you have some kind of transportation service? We have the equipment, but no drivers. They're all gone. We need at least one dump truck for a couple of days. Technics on the balance sheet of the company. Victoria, the city's gonna wash away and the dam is the only chance. My responsibility. I'll take care of it. Oh, thank you. What's up, Marina? That's it for today, no sand. I guess so. Lush is good. A man's word. <laughs> well, drowning people. Do we live? Let's unload. If Honor Pringle's testimony is to be believed, then the director of the hydroelectric plant should be investigated. 
Arkady Semyonovic. Yes, Arkady Semyonovic. Lesha, I understand you haven't fully understood our realities. You don't see that Victoria is an arrogant and cunning bitch. She's stealing money from the budget for reconstruction. And Arkady Semyonovic is the man who's stopping her from doing it. She's trying to neutralize him. Yeah. But there's trouble in the dark. People like a motivated Arkady Semyonovic can do a lot of things. And he has a motive. Plus, we have to check all the leads. I agree. I agree. Here's the thing. We're not going to be the ones checking the leads. The region called that when the water goes down. They'll send their homicide people to handle the case. Don't get upset. Malesha, we've got a lot of things to do. It'll take a long time to clean up. That's true. It rained again all night. What's the punishment? We need to speed up the construction of the dam. We need more people, Marina. Can you talk to the parents of the students? Maybe some of them would like to join us. Uh, sure. Oh, thank you. Are you going to be out late tonight? We're short on sandbags again. I'll bring the sand. I'll try to get out this afternoon. What about your investigation? You see, Seridic won't let me work anyway. The water will subside, investigators from the region will come, so we'll work with them. Svetlana, this is divinely delicious. I'd love to stay longer, but business calls. We have to go. Already? Kisses to both of you. Marina, I put the leftover jam for Lesha to take with him. Do you mind? Of course not. Jenna, take the meal. Jenna. I'm sorry, son, I'm so sorry for you. That's all. I don't believe... I don't believe Gunna is a murderer. Fedia was, was baptized by him. I don't believe it. Oh, 
Oleg Sargevich, may I go? Go ahead. Hi. Why aren't you going to school? Did someone hurt you? I want to see my dad. When will they let him go? I don't know, Romat. Do you want to go to the police station together after school and I'll ask them to let you see your dad? Yes. Let's go to class. If there was even a rustle, I'd go straight to him. Of course. You'd have been asleep. What to do with you? Oluk Sogevic, may I? I'll just be a minute. Well? Can I take a couple of days at my own expense? Why? I want to help build the dam. You don't care about the investigation. Water flood the city. All right, file a report. Thank you. Am I done? Dismissed for now. Lesha, Lyosha, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, Lesha. We have a nightmare. What happened? Jenna hanged himself right on my watch. How so? A sheet to the great tied to the bars and all. Who was in the ward? I was. Jenna was. Borea were sleeping in the interrogation room. Borea was asleep. And you? What are you all talking about? I dozed off for a second. I blacked out. What made you think it was suicide? He left a suicide note. He wrote, I'm sorry, son. I'm very sorry for you. So Sajic will pin everything on Gana. Lyosha, what to do? On the next line in the center right test work. Roma, why aren't you writing? I forgot my pen. Let me give you mine. Thank you. Lyosha, I can't talk. I have a class. Marina, I understand. Roma at school. Yes, why? I'll be right over. Come out for a minute. I need to talk to you. About what? Not on the phone. It's important. Can you explain? Everything later. Lyosha. I wish Gana had killed me. Then Roma's mom would be alive. Marina, you... You tried to calm down. It's not your fault. 
and Christina didn't die because of it. And I don't think Jenna killed anyone either. This case is rotten as hell. It's weird. I decided to question Jenna about Orkady Semyonovic and that same night he hanged himself. And he left a very strange suicide note. As if someone had torn off the letter and left it. Was he killed too? Maybe, it doesn't matter now. In an hour, the whole town will know about it, and people will be talking with Romo about his father. We have to hide him. He can't come to my place. No, I can't lie to him anymore. I've arranged with Diana. She's gonna take him to her place in the region. It's a blur. They'll hire a boat. That won't be a problem. Just get the kids out after school. And I'll wait outside the school. Okay. Yes. Why are we leaving so urgently? Your mom can explain that to you. Marina Petrovna. Yes. Can I see daddy? Let's go to the car. Roman, no. Uncle Oluk forbade it. Listen. You've become a very close person to me. You call me? Okay. I'll miss you very much. Run. Goodbye, Marina Turbona. Bye. To keep the water out. Guys, somebody get some ropes. Svetlana, how are you? Hi. Things are going well? Not much sand. How come I brought it? Still not enough. All right, I'll bring more. You can't do it alone. We need more cars and drivers. All right, I'll go to Victoria's. I'm gonna ask her for a couple more dump trucks. She won't let you. Yes, she will. We got to call everybody. They're at the factory loading something. They're making money there. And we're saving them at home. So go ahead and call them. What are you standing for? Call them. Let's go. Okay, I'll give you the technique. Just find some sane drivers. We'll do, Victoria. Thank you. Victoria. Come with me. I don't get it. I want to show you something. It may seem strange to you. You have to see it. We need to go down to the basement. Before Christina died, she came to me and talked about cracks in the floor, probably from the equipment. She probably wanted me to double check the calculations. We had a fight back then. Was there a conflict? There was. I came in today and there's no cracks anywhere and there's a new screed. Interesting. You must have some kind of device to see what's inside. An ultrasonic flood detector. Very good. Can you give me a hand? Yes. But first we have to finish the dam. Maybe Arkady has something to do with all this. Will there be more cars, or should we split up? I'm not letting you go. There will be more cars. Where are the cars? Why did they stop loading? They're all gone. 
Why did you let them go? Nobody asked me. Someone's brother called someone else, someone else called someone else and said that you'll make money in time. But now we have to save the city. Marina set it all up, a sand dam. Kindergarten. I wouldn't say that, she's got the whole town on her side. All right. Let's go. Wait here. Don't you understand? The water's coming in fast and we need equipment now. Or do you want us all to be washed to hell? Where are we going to get so many cars? We'll get them at the hydro station. I've made a deal. Lyosha, my students' parents will also help me. Very good. What happened? There's a threat of a dam breach, but nothing else. You're responsible. You know what to do. Man three sober and with a license. Follow me. Marina, what to do? Let's go carry the bags. Come on, take it. Let's go. Where's my daughter? Put on the boat with Andre and Roma. You were the one who suggested we send them to the region. I did then because Christina was dead. And Diana was so stressed out about it, why now? So Roma doesn't find out about his father's death. Diana's worried about him. She'd rather worry about her idiot husband. Arkady Semyonovic, choose your words, I'm not a boy. I put it mildly. You slept through the whole thing in your office, a people's movement has formed under your nose. They're saving the city, and the mayor doesn't care. He's sending his wife to the region. Isn't he an idiot? The people's movement is Marina and her three cripples. You should go and see it. All Plavni are gathered there. They're building the dam. What do you mean? All the trucks are at the factory. There's no one there. How there are orders? I made a deal with the others for money. They don't care about your orders or your money. Let's pack up and go. Before the flood washes your mayorship away. Lesh is not here. He's gone to the quarry. I'm not here to see him. I just came to help. What should I do? Pedia, Pedia, bring her up to speed. Larissa, let's go. You'll fill sandbags. Who's here to see us? Hello. It's been less than half a year. The city council and I fully support your efforts to save them. If you want to support it, pick up a bag. What do you mean? Lift it up, help us. Come on, Kalia. Come on. Help us, Makarik. Come on, Kalia. You can do it. If you can't lift it, 
then go sit in your office. Come on, Kalia, that's it. The mayor can do it. Here you go, Kalia, good boy. Men, go back to the factory, no one will find you for leaving. And who's going to build the dam? If Victoria opens the drain, it'll flood the whole town. No one will let her do that, and the sand. Kalia. Nikolai Valentinovic will provide the sand, yes, Kalia. What do you mean? Literally, will you? Alexei, I found something. I found something interesting. I'll call you back, Victoria Ayer. It's important. Can you come over? He's gone. Let's go find out what's going on. Lesha, Lesha. Don't touch him. Help me. Alive. Get the car. All my equipment was in perfect order when it was picked up from the hydroelectric plant. The equipment was inspected constantly. I'm sure something was done to the dump truck. Or Alexei was out of control when you gave him the truck. Did you make sure he had the proper license? No, because he didn't. I'm requesting a technical evaluation. We'll do it without your request, but that doesn't negate your malfeasance. You have no proof. I've already reported the incident to your superiors. Lesha? Lyosha? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Lara? You're in the hospital. You had an accident, remember? Don't move. You had a cervical vertebrae subluxation. I had to put you under anesthesia. Severe concussion, head wound, contusions. But don't worry, I'll get you back on your feet. I got to get back. There's people waiting for sand. They can do it without you. What you need is rest, at least a week of bed rest. I don't seem to be in any pain. No, you don't. The anesthesia is still kicking in, and then it's gonna hurt so bad. You're gonna need painkillers, go back to sleep, you'll be fine. Can I see him? No, he's badly injured and can't be disturbed. I'll only need two minutes. I said no, he's asleep. Pedia. Don't let anyone see him. Copy. Pedia. Marina. What? Pedia, please, just for a minute, just to look at him, that's all. Marina, you can't, you're still under investigation. What if you want to get rid of Lesha? Are you crazy, Pedia? I'll just look at him, because I'm... 
Because you are in love, all right. I'll take care of Larissa. You be quiet and quick. Thank you. Lara? Marina, where are you going? To get Lara. You wanted to see her. Don't listen to me. Don't go. Please. Last will of a dying man. You're a fool. Did Marina leave? Yes. Then what do you need? What's that? That's all. My arm doesn't work. I've rescued people. Help carry bags. It won't move. I can't feel my arm. Will you take a look at it? Take your clothes off. I'll help you. Does it hurt? Like this? That's weird. Muscle tones off. Bear with me. Elvira, I'll call you back. I wish you'd lost your head. Pedia. Clown. Get lost. Got it. I'm leaving. Are you feeling sick? Should I get Larissa to administer the painkillers? Oh, no, no, it's bad enough I can't turn around. Good thing you're here. Help me fix the pillow. Okay, I'm on it. Are you crazy? I said no visitors. Step outside, please. Laosha. The trauma is bad enough as it is. Do you want to make it worse? Larissa, you know I have to thank you for helping me at the morgue and you saved me today. You're a great companion. But we can't have anything. 
And I'm not counting on anything. You don't? I'm your attending physician. Not what you think I am. Go back to sleep. Sure. No, that's not true. I control everything. So Arkady Semyonovic gave you false information. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm suspended. Oh, hold on. I'll explain everything to you. I, I... How is Lyosha? He has serious injuries. Well? I don't know. Larissa kicked me out the door. She said no visits. Of course she kicked you out. She's in love with him herself. It's okay. We'll beat Larissa. It's not like she's gonna sit there all night. I'll make some soup and you bring it to him tonight. Men like to be courted. What did I say that was funny? Maybe he does love me. No one doubts it. I mean, you can't. I just need a couple minutes to sign some papers, that's all. Can't it wait? It can't. Lara? Where are the shoe covers? What shoe covers? Commander. He's awake? Don't tire him out too much. Lara, thank you. Time's up. We checked the dump truck. There's a problem with the brake system. There you go, Victoria almost killed you, I warned you. Here you go, sign the statement. We're gonna shut her down for a long time. Oh look, Sergeyvik, I can't sign it. That's how people work, Lyosha, you almost died. I drove this dump truck yesterday and everything was fine. That's right, the brake pad was in bad shape. That's how it happens. First they work and then they stop. You're an experienced man. You know what I mean. Here you go. Let them discharge me first. Then we'll deal with it. Then we'll decide whether or not to file a report. It's your right. I've already filed a criminal complaint. Well? Okay, get well. Thank you. Do you need anything? Oranges? No, it's all here.
There's some kind of weird cavity in the floor. A cavity? How big is it? About two meters by one meter, maybe more. Is that where they hit the body? Are you kidding me? No. Do you really think Christina was killed because of some crack in the floor? We need to open her up and see what's in there. They won't let me in. Someone called the ministry about a dump truck accident. I've been suspended. Someone else will do the remodeling. So you might not be allowed into the station tomorrow? Knowing Arkady Seminovic, yes. So we have to do everything today. Please help me. Yes, Arkady, we have a problem, because at Lesha's, they know everything. All what? She somehow found out about the cavity in the back room floor. That asshole figured out about the body. Holy shit, I told you that. They're going to go to the hydroelectric plant and cut up the floor. We gotta do something. It's too late. Victoria's gonna make a fuss anyway, and Lesha will tell his former boss. Call security and tell them not to let them in. Don't get hysterical. What do you suggest? Just come clean and go to prison for life. Let them come, we'll meet them. Kalia, where are you? Come here, I need you urgently. What's wrong, Dad? Nothing, keep loading. I've got some things to take care of. We need to speed up. Faster. Victoria, my clothes are in the closet. Would you be so kind as to bring them in? With your injuries, you can't even stand up. So I'll have to do everything myself. That's fine. Vitya. Where's Mikhail Yurevic? I got it. Okay, bye. We'll have to do everything ourselves. Let's do it. Sorry. Get up. Thank you. I don't like this plan. It's a shame about the city. You want to go to jail? I don't want to go to jail, but I can't just take out the duty guard. What if something goes wrong? Then you'll disconnect the station. I've never done that. Don't worry, you'll take out the duty officer. No one will see us, no one will think anything of us, understand?
What's up? Are they coming? Good. What? Call. Yes? Tulloch, Victoria asked you to come to her urgently. Why? I don't know, but it's urgent. Victoria Sarjavina? Victoria Sarjavina? Good evening, Victoria. Hello, is Arkady Semyonovic there? No one's here. What are you doing here? I thought you were fired. The dismissal order is for tomorrow. I came to get my things. I'll open the gate. Anyway, when I see Larissa, I'll hold her off. Okay. And you go straight to Lesha. Hello. Locking up a patient is overkill. What if he gets sick? There's no one there. What do you mean? How's that? You can see for yourself. Where's Lesha? He escaped away. Escaped how? He's badly injured. Probably not too bad, since he left with Victoria. Went where? Why? She's a beautiful woman and he's a free man. It's obvious. It's obvious to you. Maybe he went on business. If a woman's getting into a man's pants, it must be important business. He loves Marina. Svetlana. I was so naive too. Marina. What's that? Power fluctuations. It's okay, we'll get the backup power back on. So the city's without power again?
Yes, Marina, hi, what's up? Hi, do you know where Lesha is? I can't find him. Marina, Lesha is in the hospital. He's not there. Victoria came and he left with her. He's from the accident. Do you know where she could have taken him? To the hydroelectric plant. Are you home? Yes. Wait for me. I'll be right back. Good evening. Lyosha, you should have stayed out of it. You could have lived in peace. Phones here, quickly. Kalia. Kalia. How are you going to hide the bodies this time? They'll be looking for us. You can hide them in the barn like Fedya. And no one will hide you. You'll die when the hydropower plant collapses. You're the ones who disconnect the power. To block the backup spillways, platinum will burst. Thousands of people will die because of you. I'm not here. It was you, Victoria, who caused a man-made disaster. I'm gonna go check the water level. Old school man, how did you end up with him? Nicola, you didn't kill anyone personally. Why not in prison with him? Everyone's gonna find out what happened here sooner or later. They'll put you away. Well done, Lesha. You're a real psychologist. It's a pity to lose such an employee. You're doing a good job, Kalia. Where are you going? I'll be back soon. Kalia, don't be silly. I have to go to the bathroom. Wait. I have to pee. Get lost. Where are you going? Captain. We should probably go to. Hold on. You want a shot? You want to check it out? Go ahead. They'll find the bodies. And they'll have a bullet from your gun. That'll be a surprise. I said stop. Vika. Freeze, freeze. No, what are you doing? Get off, you asshole. Get your hands off me. What's wrong? They tried to escape. What do you got? I'm fine. The water's draining. How much time do we have? I don't know. An hour or two, I think. Victoria, what do you think? I don't think you're getting out of here. I'll call you. Kalia, stop. Sit down, I said sit down. Alive. For now. Good evening. Not good evening. Is Victoria at the station? Yes, she's just arrived. Alone? I think so. Come on, open up. We need to see the station. I won't let you see the station alone. Well, get in then. I'll open the gate. What happened? A friend is missing. Nikolaevich. Yes? We have an emergency situation. I've already realized. Go check the engineering room. Wait, there's not much time to split up. You go to Victoria's office and we'll check out the area. Follow me. Julia, search.
Why isn't he calling? We're not gonna get out of here in time. He'll call, calm down. You don't know him well, he's already gone from here, and you and I are like two idiots. Quiet, dog. Why is there a dog here? Security decided to check the station. There's no security dogs, it's not security. Watching her, I'll go check it out. What do you mean watch how? By your eyes. Well, there's her door. Wait. I hear something. I think there's someone there. There's no one and the door's closed. Let's open it. Hello? Do you have the keys? Hold these, I don't know. Do you realize we're going to be buried here together? Save us. Help me call the police. Help me save the station. Help me save the people. What's up? I don't see anyone. Jesus? Are you alive? Oh God, careful, get up. Did Victoria attack you, yes? I don't know. Is that her? Maybe. I'll testify in your favor. Back off, I said. Katia, what are you doing here? Oleg Sargavik, I just, Julia, you, yuck, Julia, I'm looking for Leku, and what are you doing here? I'm looking for Laha too, Victoria lured him here and locked him up somewhere. Julia, be quiet, he called me, but he must have lost the connection. So I've already checked everything there, let's go there and see, you're good for coming, we'll find him faster together. Shut up, bitch. You asked for it. Have a rest. Open up. People. Vika? Yura. Are you okay? I'm fine. What about Lesha? Call an ambulance for him. We need to turn on the station's power supply right away. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Listen. He needs immediate medical attention. I don't know what condition he's in. He's unconscious. He cheated the system. Yes, hydroelectric power plant. We're waiting. Reprogram the defense terminal. Ambulance is on its way. Oh. 
Patia. Oleg Sargavik. What happened? I don't remember anything at all. My head hurts. Yura knocked you out. I tried to stop him. I suspected him for a long time. He shot me and handcuffed me. Julia, what about Julia? He shot your jewel. Hurry up and untie me. If who it all hooked up and are now trying to flood the city, we need to stop them quickly, urgently, come on. They took the car there. They killed Jenna and poisoned you, too. So it was Yurka Julia who killed Julia. Yes, of course, Yurka. I'm telling you, can't you hear me? What are you guys doing here? We're saving the Plavni. We need to get this station up and running right away. Yura, stand back. She's the one who attacked the duty officer and Lord Lesha. Lesha is unconscious in the back room, near the engine room. Don't worry, the ambulance is on its way. Kalia. Lesha. You're a good investigator. Too bad you got in the wrong place. Lesha, Lesha. Everybody stand still, don't touch anything. Patia, are you crazy or what? Why did you shoot Zolka? It's Oleg, Patia, what are you doing? We're our own. The overflow of water has started. Now the dam will burst. Everyone will be flooded, people will die. Patia. Open up. Talia, help. Come on, come on. Kalia, open up, you asshole. Open up, Kalia, jerk. Freeze, hands up. Arkady Semyonovic. Slowly. I'm sorry. I should have believed you right away, and we would have gotten there sooner, and they... They wouldn't have the time to do any of this to you. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. Marina Petrovna, you have delusions of grandeur. Everything in Plavnia is because of you. Lyosha, what? You'll break my neck. Sorry. It didn't work out. We'll see how it comes out of the anesthesia. Again, very unlikely. The lung is punctured. So much blood, but the heart is working. Larissa, you're a goddess, Larissa. Let me go. You're a lot of fun. Then I have to work as a pathologist, then as a veterinarian, who will I be next? It's scary to think about. 
Maybe you'll be my wife. Do you need some valerian? Just a little. You've lost your mind over your dog. I love you. Yes, Larissa. I've loved you for a long time. Ever since you came here with your stupid husband. He's lucky he left in time. Or I was afraid I'd kill him. Pedia. Don't interrupt me. And then Lekka showed up. Between my husband's departure and Lika's appearance, do you know how long it's been? Twelve years. You're so undecided. Well, you are Larissa. Well, I'll make it up to you. Go home, Pedia. I still need to rest. You should help me. Larissa, I'll wait for you here to take you to the police station. Wait. Not a word about Lesha, got it? Yeah. So, Sarjevich, are you ready to testify? What do you want me to testify? Ouch, Lara. You yourself get ready to testify to normal investigators from the region. You'll go under article. You figure, got it? That's it. I hope Arkady Semyonovic will be more talkative. Yeah, hope so. I'm telling you, you'll get 8 to 12. Ouch, Lara. Hey, Yura, I think I know where Nikolai is. Look, in the city he cannot stay, so he will run. The roads are washed out. By air is not an option. There is only one thing left by water. We need to take it. And who will shepherd this one? I'm an old sick man. I have heart problems and hyperchromia. I require hospitalization. Take this crap off me. What kind of head of a criminal group am I? Are you crazy? What were you old sick man doing at the station in the evening? I was trying to prevent Victoria's sabotage. I got a call that the station was de-energized. Who called? I don't know, someone from the staff. I'm about to have a hypertensive crisis. Yes, Yura. Laraka, please come to the office. It's urgent. Okay, I'm just finishing up. Hey, Lara, where are you going? Can I have some painkillers? Listen, Larissa, where are you going? Arkady's not feeling well.
What's up? Is she faking? We need to hospitalize him. Seriously? No more serious than that. That's the last thing we need. Nikolai Valentinovic, stop, you're under arrest. Stop, I'll shoot. Stop, I say. Gotcha. What do you want from me? Hire a good lawyer. I never touched your Kirill. It was Kalia who blackmailed me out of jealousy. Kalia. He was afraid to squeak for nine years. He did whatever you told him to do. You killed the man I loved. The father of my grandson. My love. What happened? Curious. I have news for you. Good or bad? I don't know. We're having a baby. Diana? Diana. Aren't you excited? No, you're silly. I'm very happy. I love you very much. I just didn't expect it. What do you mean? I can imagine your father's reaction. Your business sucks, Kalia. Arkady Semyonovic and Oleg are blaming everything on you and the sabotage at Jiz and the murder. What do you mean? I didn't kill anyone at all. They claim otherwise. I didn't kill anyone. Arkady killed Kirill. Oleg killed all the others. Wait. Which Kirill? I already told you. It's too early for her to get married. Let her finish the institute first. I'm afraid we'll have to combine them somehow. Diana? You're pregnant. You convinced me that Kirill dumped me and texted me from him. You convinced me to marry that jerk. And now you want me to help you? Everything I've done. I've done for you and Anton. I won't say another word to you without a lawyer, understand? Patia, we found skeleton fragments in the back room of the jizz as soon as the water recedes in the region for DNA examination. Wow. Kalia, your only chance now is to help the investigation and reduce your sentence. 
Your son's factory produces herbicides, which are banned in our country and all of Europe. These chemicals pollute the environment and cause cancer. Anton Arkadevic either doesn't realize this, or money is more important to him than people's lives. So keep in mind, although I am your future relative, the release of all unlicensed herbicides should be immediately stopped. I demand. You demand? Jerk. What a house I built you. What car I bought you. I did it all for you. You did it for you. Now save yourself. Diana. Diana. Arkady promised me that he would persuade Diana to marry me, give me a high position, and provide me with everything. And in return, you help them roll Kirill in concrete. Fuck, Arkady Semyonovic, how am I going to get him out of here? We now have day and night repairs constantly some people. Think fast. Yes, I think, I think, we need to hide it here somewhere. And this is your concrete mixer. Yes. I have an idea. So I don't understand, so Arkady killed Kirill because of the chemicals. Were you still producing these chemicals illegally in the factory? Yes. Patia, go to the factory. It's flooded. Check everything. It'll be done. So drop everything and follow me. Follow me, there will be an important announcement. Come to me. All right. Listen up. I need 10 volunteers and two trucks. We need to go to the factory and load all the factory goods. We've already done it. We didn't get paid. So they'll sink. And if they sink, all the chemicals will get into the water and it won't be new, but dead plavni. So all those who are with me, follow me. We got Kalia, he ratted you and Semenik. So it's useless to deny it. Yura, his word against mine means nothing. Why did you kill Christina? Hold on. I found this behind the back of the couch in your bedroom. The other one was on Christina's body when we found her, if you remember. Yeah. She was at my place that night, and then she was go. Hello. Where are you? I need to talk to you. I'll be right there. God, we're such fools. Yeah. So much time wasted.
What will you should do at Diane's? I'll divorce Jenna. So it turns out you were friends with Jenna and at the same time hooked up with his wife. It was nothing like that. Just when Christina saw Jenna with Marina went crazy. Came to me to take revenge. Christina Sushko strangled. Fyodor Denisenko strangled. Gennady Sushko strangled. Alexei Tereshchenko alive and ready to testify. What do you mean alive? Didn't you know? Why did you kill Christina? I don't even know what to do with this, Victoria. I wanted to send everything to hell at first, but now I realize that I will not leave it like that. I will go to the ministry in the capital. I will achieve that they would make an additional examination of all the buildings of Jis. I will prove that Arcady is guilty of everything. You will help me, won't you? Of course I will. Then I loaded the body into her car. It was under my house and then Kalia called. He said the bridge had collapsed. And I realized it was a chance. who knew Fedka and his dog would go out at night. I offered him money for his silence. Here. Are you really hiding money here? Who's gonna look for it there? You try to find it. Come here and help. Here? Let me give you a light. Come on. Quiet, quiet. And how did Fedka got Gina's watch? I slipped it to him while you were turning your nose up at the corpse. And why did you kill Jenna? Well, okay to set up a friend, but why kill him? I didn't want to. Arkady insisted. Jenka is already on the verge. He asked me to tell you that you and Anton urgently pull him out. Otherwise, he threatens to snitch about the production of herbicides. Shipment on false invoices, double accounting. He told you all the secrets. Arkash, it's good that he told this to me. We need to organize his escape. Let's take him out on a boat at night. Just Borka in the department. We'll make up everything nicely, like they are accomplices. And on the other shore they'll get him in one fell swoop. Your Lyosha will be the first to try. No, that's not a good option. So what are you suggesting? And you knew that I couldn't sleep on duty. Nobody believed me. What did you slip me? Guess. And you talked to Arcady. Yes. He said that he does not care about us. He will not help. In short. 
We have one option. You need to run. I'll hide you and as everything settles down loudly bring you back. Oleg? Are you crazy? What do you mean run? Yes, Ramka, he will immediately believe that I'm a murderer and the most the fugitive. No, 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 I will not run anywhere. Don't yell, Jenna, I'm telling you, and if you get a 15 years, then he won't believe you, I'm telling you, I know them, they'll give you a full ride and all the charges will be on you. Jenna, well write him a letter, explain everything, he knows your handwriting. Nonsense. We have no options, I've calculated everything, you know, and there's no time. Come on, come on, that's it, yes, that's all, come here, what's next, so hold it, twist it, pretend you knock me out, then tie me up, yeah, come on, that's good, good, tie it tight, is that okay, yes, it's fine, it's fine, so let's tie it up now, so, wait, and how to tie it up, I do not know, let me show you, how to twist it, Give it to me, you're a good friend, Jen. I thought it was one of ours. When they took Genka out of the noose, you were shaking so much. I thought it wasn't you, you were best friends. I even started suspecting Petika. So you went to the station to pick him up? No. Vika didn't answer her phone, so I got worried. Wait. So you're really hooking up with Victoria? That's what I didn't realize. Guys, why are we stalling? There's a helicopter waiting. The pilot's nervous, now it's going to blow. No one will fly anywhere. Ness, he's refusing transportation. What's wrong, Lesha? Mikhail Yuryevich, I'm in good hands here. My spine is intact. Drops and injections I can do here. Have I come off my vacation for nothing? In the regional traumatology you will put you back on your feet faster, am I wrong? Lesha, so come on, don't be stupid. You'll heal there and come straight to me. Your transfer has already been signed. I've decided to stay here. What do you mean, Lyosha? Get out of here, please. Lyosha, do you want to stay in this dump? Mikhail Yuryevich. What? Well, first of all, it turned out to be no shithole. It's a beautiful town. The people here are kind-hearted. Then I'll get married. Well, congratulations, you'll get married. So take your wife and go to the capital. No, she won't go. <clears throat> That's how it turned out.
Diane. Hello. Hello. How's Roma? Good. Why didn't they come to the funeral? Grandma wasn't well and they couldn't make it. I'd like to talk to him. Do you have his number? Yes. Come on, I'll give you the number. So what happened to them? Grandma had a heart attack, Grandpa was having a hard time with it, and it just so happened that... Are you crazy? What kind of a measure am I? So who else but you? You will ensure order, and in general. You can't have a city without a mayor. Yes, I agree. But we need to choose from the locals. So we asked Marina, but she categorically refuses, says her vocation is to teach children. Taurus is the only one who wants to be a teacher and let this one go like a goat in the garden. No one else wants to waste their nerves. Do you mean you aren't pity my nerves? I actually love my job. Nobody's asking you to leave the police for good. Of course. You'll do your time. You clean up Plavdi and go on catching your crooks as long as you like. After all, we're right next to you if you need us. It's true. We can't do without you. No way. Are you a man or not? Well. Well. I agree. We'll vote for you. We'll vote for you. Get a doctor, for God's sake. And the doctor will vote. Goodbye. Larissa, Lara, I'll give you a ride. Thank you, I'd rather walk. Lara, get in, I said. Petya, stop these games. Lara, I may not be decisive, but I'm very stubborn. I'll come for you every night until you say yes. Quiet, Julia. Thank you so much. You saved my life. I have to get back. Will I see you again? I don't know. Lesha, wait, I don't get it. Why am I not on the housing list? Because? Because the first right to housing are those tenants who were severely affected by the flood. Yeah, and the second one won't be because the money will go to the hell, right? Taurus, there's a report on every penny spent. So go and read it. When are you going to get a handle on my alcoholics? Baba sure, we're looking, we're looking, we'll find it soon. I promise you. They didn't give us a subsidy. How can we live? So quietly, quietly, citizens, we'll deal with everyone. But not all at once. Lesha. What Laosha? Just a second. Roma called me. Neighbors want to send to a boarding school. Grandmother has been lying for two months with a stroke and grandfather is now taken to the hospital. Lesha. Don't cry. Do you know his address? Yes. I'll be right there. So there's a secretary in the reception. Brothers in a column of two. She'll write down all your appeals. 
and I'll be with you soon. Let's go, let's go. He've just started working and already arranged a free schedule for my sale. Roma. Hi. Hi, my dear. Roma, in general, your case is difficult but correctable. The decision to make you and only you. You know our position. Why are you doing this? Shall we talk? I need your help. I have a child with Marina Petrovna will be a girl. And I with this measure so up. I trust only two people, Petya and you. Will you take care of the girls? Okay. Thank you. Well, Zina, the last boss. If he doesn't come back, we'll change the measure. He'll come back. Where will he go? We'll see. We'll see. I think I'll stay in junior high school, because when I think about carrying these notebooks home, my arms will fall off. Hey, I got what you asked for. Thank you, Taras. You're rejoicing too soon. Hello, Mr. Mayer. Where have you been? We can't wait for you here. So, for the extra vigilantes, I took some time off at my own expense. Details in the accounting department. Hi, Lesha. Hi. 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 How'd it go? We got custody. I want one of those, too. You will. Julie, come on. I'll take you. Pedia. Stop right there. You cut all my chrysanthemums in the garden again. Huh, Lesh? At least you tell him you've ruined the whole garden. And what makes you think it's me? I was at the clinic. I saw them in a vase. Can't you buy flowers for Larisa? I can, Lesha. Let's go. Well, matters of the heart, I'll conduct educational work. Yes, let's add to some educational work. I got a size L, but it ran small. I tried it on by eye. It should be fine. 